freaking go. Booyah! Two thousand nineteen games confirmed to use all the features from Sun and Moon. Honestly, literally, if you want to be super skeptical, just don't believe it. Anything without a source. Oh yes. Oh yes. The only problem is if my game card. Do I? Uh... Oh no, I can do save states. Okay. I'm gonna save state each <laughs> once I get to a new area, just because I'm scared of the game crashing. It's very blue. Is this a wow? Okay. Oh, let's see what starter we got this time. Fire? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, do you want to see the decks in color? Yeah, let's let's go through it really quick. We'll skip all the Gen 1 Pokemon because we know what those look like. Let's go through the Gen 2 decks really, really quick in color. Um, okay. I'm just going to go through these, like, really fast. That's Nightmare Fuel. I don't know. All I'm going to say to what Blarg is saying is don't believe it without a source. Because this is how misinformation spreads literally all the time in the Pokemon community. It looks like they're only like single palette colors. A la red, blue. Except like each Pokemon has its own color palette. So it, it's kind of like yellow or... Wow, Malik is pink. I guess that makes sense. And first is yellow. Baby Volpix, rip! Baby Tangla, rip! Tangrowth Jr., rip. Mantine pre- or Mantine before it was Mantine. Quillfish. Quillfish Evolution. Pichu. Cleffa. Iglybuff. Quagsire. Natu. Zatu. Baby Goldeen. Marl. Was it really supposed to be- I don't know if I- I mean, this is like really early on, so. Oh, my game might crash when I get to Leafeon. I'm not gonna look at Leafeon, because my game will crash. And I don't wanna do this again. Even though it's not that much work. Eridos. Skarmory. Metal Ditto. <laughs> Metal Mario. That's what it reminds me of. Baby Doduo. Or Do Trio. Sunflora. I mean, since they're single color palettes, I don't think that's necessarily how they were like, you know, in the final version they were gonna look. It was kind of just like a general thing. Um, giraffe rig pre evo, giraffe rig. Cause I mean, this is on Game Boy, but uh, baby meow. I don't remember the name of this thing, but I wish it was real, and I cry at night. <laughs> Polytoad, slow gang, unknown, Lediba, Ledian, <laughs> baby vol, uh, baby ponita, espion. Yeah, Espeon's yellow. Umbreon, god, I get what they're trying to do with the creepy face. Slow King, Slowbro's Tail, Baby Grimer, Remoraid, Octillery, uh, was this potential? Was this supposed to be Tyrogue or a baby Tyrogue? Baby Growlithe, Ugh. Hopip, Skiploom, Jumpluff. <laughs> Mr. Mime. Or Mime Jr. Before Mime Jr. was a thing. I don't have anything to say on, uh, Smoochum. <laughs> Elkid. Magby. <laughs> Some Flora. Or, sorry, Blossom. Oh my god, I'm like getting them all mixed up. This is supposed to be in the, the Bell Sprout line? Mill Tank. Bomb Seal, or whatever it was called. Bird. Dedene slash Tokudamaru tiger looking thing. <laughs> Farfetch evolution. Creepy Voodoo Doll 1. Creepy Voodoo Doll 2. Murkrow. Uh, Blissey. It's green. That is so cool. That is so cool. God. I really wish Caesar ended up with- Like, I know it's not that different. But it's still, like, different enough. Oh Lick Licky. Sort of. Steelix. Yeah, once I get to the Legendary Dogs, I'll close it. 
Kingdra, Raikou, Entei, Suicune. I'm not gonna open Leafeon because it's gonna crash the game. So, anyway, let's continue. Let's get back to where we were. I like this teal color because it's my favorite color, so I can't really complain about that. Okay, let me get back to where we were. I mean, I don't really need to see the whole tally in color because it's just gonna be this like blue overworld color. I don't think, yeah, like, the thing is, I don't think any of the, um, I don't think any of the trainers can actually, uh, like, battle you, it seems like. I'm gonna make sure it's saved. I'm, like, saving every so often just because in case the game, um, just in case the game crashes, I can go back and I don't have to start over. So, let me see if these guys can battle you. Nope. They're not even programmed. Oh, yeah, they're not even programmed. I don't know. Why I'm so worried. Yeah, none of, none of the stuff you can... Yeah, it makes sense. None of this stuff you could, like, they put it in the game, but there's no stuff programmed to it when you, like, take an action on something, you know? So this is very... So this is supposed to be Goldenrod. This is supposed to be Goldenrod. It's a neon. Can you zoom in on the game window itself? Uh, no, I can't. I'd rather show the Super Game Boy border so you guys can actually see what it looks like, but this is... I, I, I like the Super Game Boy border, so I'm going to show it. It's a pause. Yeah, the, I mean, the colors are nothing super crazy. You just need to see it in color. I mean, this is the same. So yeah, this is definitely Golden Rock. Look at the Team Rocket number. I can't believe this is real. Ah, I'm so, oh my god. Nice, my crap. Oh my god, I'm like still shook. That I'm, this, is, this is happening in 2018. I <laughs> like... I never thought this would happen. Interesting that a lot of the NPC houses are very similar. Um, yeah, see, they don't say anything to you. So you got Radio Tower. I don't know what this is. Maybe. This kind of reminds me of Gem 1, how rockets took over that one house. So that could be it. This is just all me kind of guessing. So we already went in the Radio Tower. It's nothing super spectacular. Gate, that's where I just came out of. And then... Like, it's so weird because this is like... I mean, I know I keep saying this. It's like Gem 1.5. So, like, the map design... Like, the map design... I mean, obviously the music... Like, a lot of stuff they're gonna reuse from Gem 1. But, um... A lot of stuff they're gonna reuse from Gem 1. But it's so weird because it's it's just in a weird in-between spot of, like... Gen 1 becoming Gen 2. So, like, the map designs, a lot of them are very similar to Gem 1. Being, like... I feel like a lot of the Gen 2 towns are just bigger, you know? And, like, this is basically Goldenrod Condensed. This is hacked, you just ran through trees. There's something called a debug menu, which is not, I mean, unless you think hacking is, like, you know, the people making the game and working on the game, like, it's a debug menu. So if using a debug menu, which is how you work on making a game, is hacking, then, yeah, it's very incomplete. Pro tip for me wrong for my depression. <laughs> Guys, it's a prototype. This is the debug menu. There's... It's it's not a finished game. That's why we're able to walk through the walls. Just read the Google Doc. It'll explain it. Oh, yeah. Wait, wasn't there supposed to be a ship here? I just remembered that. <laughs> Was I a developer? No, but I'm not... I'm, 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 I think I'm smart enough to figure out how... Someone press that lever surprise you about... It, oh yeah, there was supposed to be a boat in Goldenrod. I remember reading about that. This is the gym. Wow, this is something. Is Japan's version broke the equal walk through walls? No, this is a prototype. And we're using the debug mode slash menu so we're able to walk through walls and do a lot of other things that you would be able to do in a game. <laughs> Oh, that girl apparently came off the house too. The gym is... Kind of reminds me of Erica's gym. Like, yeah. Okay, so we're in Goldenrod. This is Goldenrod. Um... I get... We can only like, go to the north, I think. So I guess we'll go that way, because this is just, like, cornered off. Yeah, there, there's really supposed to be a boat here. That's... I mean, I guess they moved it to Olivine. So there... Normally, there's a route to the north. I'm, like, so shook that I'm playing this right now. Oh, my God. What are these trees? 
tree spray. This is... Wow. Wow, this is very <laughs> incomplete. So this is north of Goldenrod, which I guess you can kind of compare to like going to National Park, but not even, to be honest. Wait, what? Yeah, that's like a- I don't think this tree was ever used in the final. I think it's just a placeholder. It's interesting that it lags a bit going in between place to place. No wild Pokemon or trainer battles. No, because it wasn't programmed in. Because this is a very incomplete, you know, version of the game. Yeah, Pokemon League, probably. Maybe this is like the... Oh no, it's a trainer school. Huh. Is this supposed to... There's nothing... Are those like strength poles you're supposed to go down? I... I... Yeah, I mean, I can't... There's nothing like... Racist? Huh. That's weird. Sorry, I'm the one that's like pausing the game right now. Don't freak out. He was a Tyler. This is Azalea. I don't know. I can't really. <laughs> okay, no exit. There. Random warp tiles. I wouldn't say it's random. Like, it's there for a reason, so that's why I would say it's maybe not necessarily random. It's just not finished. More so, yeah, more so not finished versus it just randomly being placed somewhere. I wish I could read Japanese, but... Oh, well. Yeah, those don't... Okay, those aren't... No idea what that's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, interesting. I'm, like, so mind-blown. Still, I'm like so excited. Like, this is real life. Okay, this is what the Mart was supposed to look like. This is what the Mart was supposed to look like. Does the water go somewhere? I'm not sure. Um, I mean, if I if I go up too far, the game might crash. So I'd rather not like. I'd rather just stay where I'm supposed to be. You know what I mean? So we can go north. Yeah, we can go up here and to the right. It looks like there's also. back. Let's go down to the place on the right first. Yeah, this is very, very, very incomplete. This is so interesting. one water tile that something tells me it's a warp tile it's not a i mean i can only tell if it's a warp tile if i go on it but just because it's a water tile doesn't mean it's a warp tile. i literally think this is just a dead end there's like nothing here i'm not gonna like bother going on to the end. who knows what this is supposed to be or if it was meant to be really anything I mean, I can go in the water. Uh, where's the water? Wait, what water tile? Oh, this? That's not a water tile, no. It's just a pond, I guess. This is Azalea. I don't know. This is weird. 
Oh my god, I'm sorry, this is like so mind-blowing to me. I know I keep saying it, but it is. Okay, there's like a scientist area. Ruins of Alf? No. No, no, no. Not Ruins. Sorry. I just like the fact that this is happening. Like, the fact that this is happening is. The, the fact that it, it still existed and it was able to be dumped, and the fact that we're here playing this today is just. I'm so shook. I'm so shook. QA, nice Easter egg, yeah. I'm, as someone who's like a giant nerd about like beta prototype -y stuff. If, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Like this is, I, I know, I don't mean this in like a bad way, but this is like so much bigger to me than, or like I think this is a lot more impactful and important than, you know, getting new games. Because you're, you're always going to get new games. But it's not every day that this happens. Oh wow, is this like a Team Rocket fail? Maybe this is supposed to be Azalea. I don't know. I mean, we don't know. Because like, this was before, you know, any... This was before, you know, what we know today is Gen 2 was really a thing. So, I mean, unless you're looking at like the, the script or like the text in the game. Um, go, like going through that. Like, you can only really tell what it was meant to be, you know? Um... I'm like so shook. Like, I am so shook. <laughs> I want to see if you can get to the so Pokedex, Pokemon items, Pokegear. I think a Pokegear. Oh no, that's. Wait, I don't even know if you can get to the Pokegear in this. Save. I wonder if it'll save. It's saved. Yeah, this is great. There's no Pokegear. I think you can get to the Pokegear in the debug options. I mean, I, I, like I said, I can only really guess what things are supposed to be. I, I don't have, I can't really like look at literally like the game and like in terms of like, you know, the text and everything and like all the coding stuff and try to, oh, get it. Uh -oh. and try to like figure out what everything was meant to be, you know? Because, you know, like I said, this is, you know, Gen 2 before they really knew what they were doing with Gen 2. Okay, water rod. No? I feel like if I go on the wall, is this like a Wow, okay. Huh. Okay, we gotta figure out where to go from here. This might be a dead end. Like, I know there's probably more to it, but... If I keep going out, the game's gonna definitely freeze at some point. Or at least out past, like, the boundaries. Most likely. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna find out. Because I don't have a map. <laughs> or I don't even, I don't even know if there's a... I, I, I know there's something with the map. I mean, it's not like it's never ending, it's just. Huh, where to go from here? Yeah, you can't even go out there. That's to stop you from going out of bounds. That's interesting. Wait a second. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! How did I get here? <laughs> how? How did I get here? Well, I'm gonna save. How did I get here? Huh? I have a sneaking suspicion that this could be all of mine. This is just me, you know, like I said, guesswork, but... Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm like so shook that this is real and I'm playing it. Ah! I'm so excited. Ah. Like this, oh, there's an upstairs. Like this, like prototype or demo or whatever, it's one of those things that you never really thought you'd ever see. Ever. Wow, this is interesting. This Pokemon Center has the upstairs stuff. Um, like, this is something I never thought would ever see the light of day. And it has seen the light of day. And I just want to cry to enjoy. Being so thorough without being skeptical of the leaks. I'm so getting spurred by Pokemon fake stuff. I mean, considering the people that are, like, working on it and, like, stuff, I, it's definitely not. You know, it's the definitely. I, I can understand being skeptical of it if it's fake. 
in terms of like, you know, you know, somebody, yeah, could have gone through all the effort to do this, right? But there's a lot of stuff that proves that it's the real deal in terms of... If you compare it to the information that we know before about the um, Space World demo, there's a lot of stuff that's, you know, the same. And, like, you know, pre-release screenshots and all that sort of stuff. If this turned out to be a late April Fool's, oh, excited to plot her. I mean, yeah, if it, it's real. Yeah, I, I have no doubt in my mind that this is real. I Sure, yeah, you know, I, I understand people being skeptical because of... You know, leaks and stuff, but this this is definitely the real thing. Considering the story, the people that are working on it, and the people that found it and dumped it and everything, it's definitely, um, it's definitely for real. But, uh, wait, Muxi, wait, you, I show up for three seconds in this video? Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> wait, is he still here? Wait! <laughs> So funny! Oh, that was a TwitchCon. I didn't even know I was being filmed. Yeah, it's it's definitely hundred percent real. Anyway, let's continue. Th my only guess at this is that it could maybe be Olivine. Like I said, I mean, you can only really. It it's weird because what we know is Gen Two wasn't a thing when this kind of was made. I mean, sort of like maybe the, the ideas of it, but it's really interesting. I mean, considering the trees, actually, I don't think those trees are ever used in Gen Two. And I know I keep saying this as well, but it's just a weird, this this prototype is in like a, not a weird, a very, I think personally really interesting, like, it's in a very interesting point of Pokemon because, I mean, yeah, they're, you know, they just finished Gen 1 and then they're making Gen 2. So, like, if we ended up getting graphics similar to this in Gen 2, like, yeah, Gen 1, Gen 2 graphics are similar, but Gen 2 is definitely a big step up, right? Step up, regardless of the color stuff. So, like, you know, some of these, you know, Pokemon designs, um, the overworld sprites, stuff like that, is very reminiscent of the, the kind of like Gen 1 style. I don't really know how to describe that style, but there's definitely a big difference between graphically, um, not like literally, oh, Game Boy graphics, but like the style, I guess, is a lot different in terms of, you know, some of the overworld sprites, the Pokemon sprites, stuff like that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I don't know what this is going on. No. Okay, there's something else really here. Oh. There's two gates. Let's go down here. It's a water route. This reminds me of the route going to Cinnabar. Kind of. But the town we were just in is clearly not Fusion. I don't even think Kanto was a thought in their minds before this. Because this is all before, you know, a water like helping. Probably. I'm going to go over here first. What's up, Twitch? I'm s How's the demo? It's great. I'm like freaking out honestly <laughs> this is the best thing ever like i can't wait to see what sort of um like discoveries and stuff you know once they you know like translate it and all that sort of stuff i can't wait to see what we get out of it because i mean right now you know it all just kind of happened um you know so okay it seems like it didn't so i'm gonna go there like I, it, it's gonna take a while i know that it's gonna take time but I'm so excited to see. It's, it's so cool to see what could have been, basically. I think. Um, I, still left. I like this little water beach sprite that never ended up getting used in the final game. Oh, this just goes to the same area. Okay. Yeah, none of this grass. Like, literally, we're just walking around because nothing else is, like, programmed into the game in terms of, like,. Or at least, like, the actions of talking to people. I'm sure there's some sort of, like, you know, lines of text or script. League again. What does this league thing mean? That's not like a gym. It's weird. But. She's perfect leaks. Like I said, don't get me wrong. I'm excited about the Let's Go games. But this is, like, historically a way bigger deal than, you know, Let's Go could ever be. I mean, Let's Go is a big deal in terms of, like, you know, the game itself and all the new features, but this is... Our encounter's not programmed, programmed in. Not past the first, like, town. Not past the first town, though. Um... Like, encounter data... I mean, I, this is... I, I'm, I'm not... Preface... To preface this, I'm, like, an expert. I'm not an expert on Gem 1 and 2, but I definitely... I definitely know probably a little bit more than the average person in terms of, I guess, maybe, like, how the games work and, like, glitch stuff and all that sort of crap, but from what it seems, 
when playing the game, there's no encounters programmed to the certain areas or certain tiles, and there's no text programmed to like certain characters. Like when you go up and you don't press A, and they don't say anything. Um, same with signs. So that data could be in the game, it's just not set to be like, okay, press A at this part and this text will pop up. Because the thing is, going through the Google Doc, you know, there's a whole section for script. So, I mean, but it's not that much, actually, now that I see it. So maybe not that much was actually programmed. I mean, I can't speak Japanese either, so, yeah. <laughs> and, like, it's very, 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 very early on. I mean, Let's Go, the reason Let's Go wasn't surprising to me was because it got leaked, first of all, which I mean, I was excited about it, don't get me wrong. But also that, um, even before we knew about the leaks, um, you know, there's so many Kanto hints in Sun and Moon that, like, low-key, I kind of thought, like, I, I didn't really think they were going to do it, and then they did it. Um, you know, we had a Kanto game, but, yeah, anyway. I'm really confused about, like, there's, there's clearly the gym, you know, there's clearly the gyms, but then there's these buildings that say leaks. So I'm curious, but I guess this is like a, all of these are like, gym slash like training centers or something? Kieran, they're the host. Oh man, I have my, I have my audio down really low, so I can't really hear it. Actually, is my audio really loud, guys? Maybe I should turn it down. Uh, can I turn it down in this? Uh, options? Sorry if it's really loud. Is that better? I didn't realize if it was like really loud or not. It might be... Because, like, my alerts were, like, super quiet compared to that. It's a little loud. Yeah, sorry. I didn't realize that until now. Hold on. I didn't realize it was loud until... I didn't realize it was loud until I couldn't hear my alerts. That should be better. I'm going to turn on my headphones now. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Bop, 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 I was running around earlier, and the rival ended up bouncing me back to the title screen. If you want to get around the rival, um, go on the title screen, hold select, do the second option, and then start up the game, and hold B to walk through walls. But Kieran, they the host! How's your stream, friendo? This is Kylie. Leagues are super gyms. I'm thinking that leagues are maybe, like, Pokemon training, like, I don't know if it's a mix of a gym or what. Oh crap, there's the title. Um, it seems like it's like a trainer school and then you train there as opposed to it being a gym. I'm confused. Because there are proper gyms from what we saw earlier. But I mean, we, we don't know unless they speak on it. So we can only theorize to a certain extent. It's a thing to follow. Figured something like it would happen before the leaks consider Oras happened. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a Jinju, Love Bug, Brucifer. Barazoku, Kylie think the host, Elena. Are you playing Splatoon? Nice. That's awesome. I love Splatoon. Yeah, like none of these signs can be read. Honestly, I'm so confused with what people are saying about Let's Go. Even even with Pokemon, what they've said about Let's Go, whether it's mainline or not. I think it's technically a mainline game. Um Yeah, maybe, Chad. Maybe. Yeah, these are just NPC houses, but they don't say anything. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're basically, like, contradicting themselves. Like, Pokemon's being, like, kind of vague if it's main series or not, and people are kind of like... I mean, like, the game's still gonna be good, regardless regardless if it's main or side series. Like, I know, I understand people freaking out about the wording, but, like... I get if you're freaking out about the wording, but, like... I don't know, like... I don't want to say it shouldn't matter, because it does matter to an extent. But, you know, regardless of the wording, I think the game's still gonna be fine. It's mainline, but not Gen 8. So the only area with wild Pokemon trainers programmed is the demo area, yes. So, like, the New Bark Town area. So once you get to the rival, that's where the demo's supposed to end. Thank you for following Twitter, by the way. Nice, Jinju. They started off the conference saying it was a main series the whole way, then said something about not, it not being one. So I guess it's technically a main series game, but it's not Gen 8. Which is weird, because since you're on a new console, you would think it'd be Gen 8, but it's not. I mean, regardless if it's Gen 7 or 8, regardless if it's main series or side series, it's still gonna be a good game. People are just super concerned about the wording, which is fair. On one hand, I, I would like to know, like, the word, like, where it stands in, like, the whole Pokemon franchise. But then again, I just, the game's gonna be good, so I don't really care. It's not a traditional core series, but a core series game is what they're trying to say. 
I don't think they're gonna do that, Chad. I think the new the new core series game in 2019 will be similar to. Apparently, it's supposed to be similar to you know all the other ones. So the actual main series game is supposed to come out in 2019. Yes. 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 Um. Okay, hey, that's a dead end. Wait, was I already here? This looks really similar. No, I don't think I was here before. That might be- that might- There's like these weird dead ends into the water. Oh, is this an aquarium or something? Oh my god! There's an aquarium! There's an aquarium! There's a freaking aquarium. It's like Gen 3. But not. Wow. That's insane. That is so cool. So TLDR, Let's Go, is in the main series, but it's not like a main series core RPG game. Because that's the one that's coming out in 2019, and that's the one they were talking about at E3 last year. So it's kind of like a main side series. I, I don't want to muddle the wording anymore, but... So TLDR, it's still Gen 7, but it's not the core RPG they were talking about at E3. So it's, it's still in the main series. It's just not the main, you know, core game for you know, the hardcore fans that they were talking about. I don't remember an Aquarium of any games. There's kind of one in Gen 3. I think it was a retreat, by the way. Core in the same way as Coliseum XD. Coliseum and XD are side series. They're not main series. When they say main core games or main series game, they mean like red, blue, yellow, green, gold, silver, crystal, ruby, sapphire, emerald, fire, leaf green, diamond, pearl, platinum, heart, gold, silver, black and white, black and white, black and white, aura, sun and moon, all sun and moon. <sighs> yeah, I agree, Kieran. Actually, I'm gonna look at Bulbapedia really quick while we're still talking about this. God, I'm out of breath. Ooh! I am out of breath. Okay, Bulbapedia officially classifies it as a Generation 7 core series game. Did she think of all? I will trust Bulbapedia on that. <laughs> Generation 7 core series game. The core series of the Pokemon games or core games are commonly referred to as the main series or mainline games. So this is, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's a Gen 7 main series game, so it's basically the remake that we would get after Sun and Moon. So kind of like Auras, except it's on a new system. And then Gen 8 will start next year. Okay, that makes a lot more sense in my head. Okay, thank you, Bulbapedia. I appreciate you. That makes way more sense if you look at it that way. And that's really cool that there's an aquarium and literally like a freaking sprite sheet and stuff for the aquarium. Holy crap. Some nice frozen fish on display. Breeze in. <laughs> There's an aquarium in X and Y. Oh, I forgot about that. What's up, Breath? Nice, Hayden. That's awesome. I haven't gotten any shinies in Quest yet. I've only played it um, when it came out. I haven't had time to play it because I've had Bane and stuff. But yeah, these are all just. Th this looks to be another like sea town. I, I don't really want to like. I don't want to speculate on what's supposed to be what because, like I said, you know, like I said, um, this is Gen Two before we knew what Gen Two was. You know. So this is just concepts. Like, you know, some of these towns just could have been completely trashed and then we got what we got as Gen 2, you know? Um, like, yeah, you can kind of compare it in terms of like, oh, like, you know, the first town's New Bark Town, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, you're never gonna know that for sure unless there's something in like the game, like game's code itself saying that or, you know, um, you know, Game Freak comes forward and be like, hey, this is what this is. Which I doubt they will, unless, you know, they have some sort of, I don't know. Anyway, is there a way to get out of here? I think this is a dead end. Am I at a dead end again? I mean, nothing's a dead end when you can walk through walls, but... Can we go this way at all? Yeah, these are all... Yeah, see, you can't go past that. That's interesting that they have that actually, like, programmed for you to bounce back at certain parts. Probably because they didn't want to go out of bounds and freeze the game, which makes sense. Was there another area in here we could go towards? I think this all just came from... I wish I could see the map. I think you might be able to see the map in the debug menu, but I don't know. You see how when you go through like different kind of loading areas, it like gets a little freezy. Not freezy, but I guess it lags a little bit. 
So we're back where we were. I think there's another gate over here. You want to see Gen 8 have SOS hordes? SOS hordes? Do you mean- wait, are you saying you want Gen 8 to have SOS encounters and hordes? Or are you saying SOS hordes? Because that would be... I don't even know if the Switch could handle that. <laughs> Baby Jinx is... or Smoochum in this version is a bit terrifying. Okay, so we're back here. Cave doesn't go anywhere, there's no, you know, like, warp for that. Um... Oh, shit. Oh. What's this? Oh, 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 god. SOS Horde sounds like something super chaotic that I do not want. Uh, we're just gonna keep on trekking. Is the game free? Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're like definitely probably out of bounds. <laughs> oh boy, this is, this is a nice tile. Okay, we found a town with a dead, like, tile set. Okay. Question is, will Pokemon send a takedown notice like they do with everything? I mean, I don't, like, the only thing they can really do, I would say, with something like this, I guess, technically, yeah, they could DMCA. But also, with the person that owned, owns and or owned the cartridge, um, tech, I mean, technically, that's their property. But, like, I don't, you know, I mean, I don't have, usually, I haven't seen many, I, some, like, devs, I don't think. Like, I really haven't seen many devs that go after people that have the demos and stuff. Because they just don't care. Unless it's, there's some really big legal thing with it. Which, like, you know, they technically own it. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Which city is looking lovely. I think it's just some of the tiles. Or the tile sets. Goofy. Huh, wait. This is kind of where I was before. Except not. Except it's all messed up. Oh, now it's back to normal. Wait, we were here before. Okay. I'll have to, like, go through my, like, VOD and see how many towns we've been to. You could run from hordes. I want to try full SOS hordes with five mons in total. Honestly, that sounds like the most annoying thing, like, ever. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, if you can't run away... Like, I don't know. For shiny hunting, it sounds good. But, like... It just sounds so tedious. Like, it just sounds so tedious. Because if you have five Pokemon max, then you're SOSing. That's up to ten Pokemon in one thing? That's a little ridiculous, I think. I don't even know if that would even, like, technically be possible. Even with the Switch. Not even in terms of, like, about the Switch handling it, but just, like, being able to do that in the game, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Minecraft. Because when I went in, the tile set was loaded back in again. I don't want to go past the trees because it doesn't let me go past the trees. I don't know. We're kind of just exploring. I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm kind of going to backtrack and see where else we can go. Um, so let me go in and reload it. There we go. So we're back here. I'm going to go back this way and see if there's anything. Shiny Hunting SOS Hordes with 100 guaranteed runaway and you can catch one Pokemon and run away from the rest would be good. I agree with you. I see how it's good for Shiny Hunting, but I feel like it's just way too overwhelming. I think it's just way, way too overwhelming. So is this a glitch or a game shark thing? I think it's too hard to make and I think it's a bit too overwhelming to put in the actual game. This is the, this literally just came out today. It's the prototype version of Pokemon Gold. It's, it's too overwhelming. Like, like why have that when you can just do hordes normally or SOS normally, you know? It's just SOS on steroids, you know? Like why not just have hordes? Why not just have SOS separately, you know? I, I, from a design perspective, I don't think it's viable. And also from a player perspective, I don't think it's very viable. Um, it sounds just, like, not worth it. From a design perspective and, like, from a player perspective. Unless you're shiny hunting, it's gonna be fucking annoying. Regardless if you can have 100% runaway, like, miss or accuracy. Just because it's gonna be annoying running into it, you know? I think they could come up maybe with a way where shiny hunting's... You could shiny hunt more Pokemon at once, yeah, but not like that. I think that's a bit overkill, in my opinion. At that point, at that point, you'd be farming shinies, like... Like, legitimately, you'd just be farming shinies. Depending, you know, shiny charm and all that sort of stuff, so... I don't know, I... It sounds like a cool idea in theory, but in terms of, like, long-term viability, I don't see it happening. Or, like, I don't know. Wait, did we go down here before? Everything's, everything is looking the same. 
Oh, whoa, wait, this is new. Yeah, ooh, this is a pretty color. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool idea. In theory, it's a cool idea. In practice, in practice, I don't know if it would really work. Okay, we're in a new area. I don't know where I am, but. Did you see all the cut content they found from Gold and Silver? Uh, yes. I like the idea of TBH and would be cool and fun. I see where you're coming from, Minecraft. I agree, in theory, it could be a cool idea, but in, in like, practice, in, like, actual, in, like, reality, I don't see it working too well in terms of, like, from the design and the player perspective, but also, like, literally putting it into the game. Um, like, what would be the benefits to it, I guess? Yeah, this is a new area we've been in. Um... See, it's interesting because some areas are very clear-cut what they're supposed to be. Like, yeah, Goldenrod, you can tell what it's supposed to be. I think that one with the unknown waterfall maybe could have been Azalea. But like I said, we can only really speculate because we're not going to know unless, you know, you look in the game's code or something or if they say something about it. But, which they're not going to. There's a lot of NPC houses that we can't interact with and it makes me really sad. Whoa. What is this? Sprite. That's weird. Ooh, what is this? Is this like a bar? <laughs> Am I in like a bar? Interesting. Looks like a female rival? Yeah, it kind of does. Like, there aren't honestly a lot. I mean, a lot of the NPC sprites are the same. Besides, I mean, that one was a, definitely a new one. It looked like a bar. Maybe we're in some sort of like, I don't know, there's a captain sprite. Was it like the bar from Olivine? Yeah, maybe, I mean, this is just a guess. I mean, it could be Olivine, who knows? This is where I came from, right? Or is that another gate? Sorry, like everything, no, we came from this side. I mean, this is even before the game was in any sort of way finished. This is more like, dang, this is a big city. Is this water? No, no, that's not water. I can't tell. It's not like the normal water sprites. I'm not touching anything. It's a current. Wow. That's weird. In a cool way. So is this a gym? Or a fighting dojo? Morty? Uh, maybe? Actually, maybe that old man's house. That old man's house could have been the medicine place, maybe? But no, the medicine was supposed to originally be an Ecrotique, so that's... Never mind, ignore me. See, like, what is this supposed to be? It's not a gym, because... I, I mean, I don't know. It's weird, because there's, like, separate gym... There's separate gyms, and then there's these league buildings that are a combo of, like, the trainer school and, like, an area where you can, like, battle trainers similar to a gym. It's very odd. Like, this also looks like a gym, but, I mean, we can't really look at it. So this is weird. This is a current. I'm not touching the game. That's a that's a current. That's really interesting. And then it takes you over here. So maybe this is like an early game area where you know you obviously couldn't surf. Oh, we can actually go through the grass this time. Huh? Headbutt tree maybe. Hmm. But yeah, there's no like encounters programmed or anything. I'm excited to see what once they piece the map together to see what it fully looks like because right now we're kind of just going through everything you know this reminds me of mount moon the mount moon the route going up to mount moon but i know it's not that so what is this this is the pokemon Gold prototype no there's no I, there might be a town map i don't think i can access it um oh yeah like one of the towns was called silent hills or something i think that's what new bark town was supposed to be called actually there might be a map, but I think you can only get to it in the debug menu. Let me see this. I don't know, because Cutting Room Floor has been, like, updating things as it goes. Uh, I'm going to, like, read through the maps really quick. Route 1, P1, P2. Route Silent East, which is probably the east of Silent Hill, which is, I think, supposed to be New Bark Town. Route 1 Gate. Um, Route Silent East Gate. Player House. 1F, 2F. I'm, I'm not going to read the redundant ones. Silent Pokemon Center. Silent Hill House. Silent Hill Lab. Looks like there's supposed to be two floors in the lab. Unused, 13. Shizukana Oka. I don't know if that's a name or something. Route 2. Old City. Old Museum. Old Gym. Old Tower. That's probably Violet City. 
Bill, okay, that actually confirmed my suspicion. One of the sprites in Violet City, old, old city, whatever you want to call it, looked like Bill. So it says old Bill's house, old Mart, old house, old Poké Center. Um, trade, battle, time machine, old Kurt's house. Maybe Kurt was supposed to be in that second town as well, or maybe for the prototype they just put them all together. Um, waste Mart, waste radio tower. That's goldenrod. I don't know what waste means. Um, high techu, high tech. H A I T E K U, not high tech. Well, maybe I don't know. High techu West route. High techu West route ocean. High techu. Maybe that's a city. Um, league Pokemon Center. Uh, high techu Pokemon Center League House Mart Aquarium. High techu Imposter Oak House. Huh. Fonto Route One Two Three Four Five Six. Fonto. Is that supposed to be what? <laughs> Fonto Rocket House. Fonto Mart. These might. Bad on Route 1, 2, 3. Maybe Waste is meant to be, like, something they didn't end up using. Because there's another thing that says Bad on Route Gate. Waste. Route 15, Route 18. New Type Route, New Type Poke Center. New Type League 1F. New Type Sailor House. New Type Dojo. That's probably where we just knew it were. New Type Diner. Maybe that could be, like, Olive Vine. Sugar Route, Sugar Route Gate. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Bull Forest. Probably, uh, Ilex Forest. Or the precursor to that. Haven't been there yet, I don't think. Stand route gate Kanto. Maybe that means they like, or actually, wait a second. Kanto, East Route, Kanto, Kanto Cerulean House, Kanto Pokemon Center, Kanto League, Kanto Lavender, Kanto Celadon Mart, Celadon Elevator, Game Freak HQ. So it looks like Kanto is in this to an extent. Mount Fuji route. Huh. But who knows how, how finished it is. Power Plant, Ruins of Alf. Slowpoke Well, Office 1, Office 2, Office 3, Cave Minecarts. Huh. I mean, some of these maps might not be accessible in the overworld, but maybe going through develop menu or something. But wow, that's really interesting. If you guys want to see what the prototype town map looks like, I will post it in chat. Um, the map option text looks like a 5 and another character third page in the debug menu. Gotcha. Leaks could have been repeatable training spots like the training house in Viridian City. You actually have a point. You do have a point. That could be it. There's a town map. It's on the third page. Section loss option. Gotcha. Yeah, I just saw it. I, I forgot it was in there. I wonder how many TVs are going to die because the Pokemon Let's Go Pokeball controller accidentally being thrown through them. It's a pound. No, I, I think they mean waste in terms of... Waste in terms of... Uh, my poor <laughs> Yeah, I've been trying to load cutting room floor like a couple times this morning and it takes a little bit longer than usual, but it's okay. I'll just read that website for fun sometimes. It's really cool to see um, what ends up you know, being in games and what's not. I think waste is probably meant something that's maybe meant to be scrapped. Considering how freaking successful gold and silver and heart gold and silver were, it's crazy to see how gold and silver used to be in its prototype and all the scrap designs. Especially the ones that could have been made but were pushed to Gen 4, I agree, yeah. Kanto can't be in this, though. There's a chance there's data in those areas, but it's grabbed from Red Blue Yellow's data. You have a point. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not saying I'm, like, an expert on this. I, like, vaguely know of how things in, like, Gem 1, Gen 2 work in terms of, like, you know, the games and stuff and glitches. I, I know more about glitches than I do with, like, the actual, I guess, like, code and all that sort of stuff. But, I mean, yeah, I, I'm just read. I was just reading off all the different maps. There's at least, you know, let's see, uh... This Google Doc lists 228 different maps, which is, you know, different areas to be loaded, basically. So, you know, you might be like, oh my god, there's like 200, 100 something towns. No, that's not how it works. Every area that's loaded is a different kind of part of the map. So, you know, like first floor of the Pokemon Center, second floor of the Pokemon Center, you know, stuff like that. So, just to, like clear that up. I'm really looking forward to the English translation as well. I mean, honestly, though, like, I mean, as far as we are right now, you know, you can't really can't read anything like nothing is can't there's nothing like programmed i guess there you know we're kind of just exploring at this point so here's another gate maybe this is canto i don't know I don't, I don't know see i don't know oh what you see you can't it's interesting how all the npc houses look because it basically looks like new bark town yeah the english translation will be nice i mean i'm not expecting any oh are these whirlpools I'm not expecting any of the text, though, to be, like, mind-blowing, though, to be completely honest. If anything, it'll give us more insight into how the games, I mean, at least for English speakers, it'll give us more insight into how to game, in, into how the game 
came to be. To get to Kanto, go east from the starting town. In this, as well? Is this like a snow? This kind of looks like snow. Whirl Island? I don't know, that just looked like a bunch of whirlpools. These roofs are different. Yeah, you can't you can't talk to anybody, so that's why I'm not talking to anybody. I'm just walking around. Like you might be able to tell like certain like notable NPCs if they're the same. The Pokedex being translated would be very nice. Especially for, you know, the unreleased stuff. Um shop. It's kind of fun to try to figure out which area is which, just like by not looking at it, but this whole league and gym thing still confuses me. Like, if anybody has any insight on that, please let me know, because I'm very confused. There's a cave. That doesn't necessarily mean we can go in it, though. I mean, we'll see. I'll, I'll look, but I'm not there yet. Um, so there's another area to the south here, so we gotta remember to go down there. I'll just be curious once we see a full map, like, what... Oh, can't go in it. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Um, I'll be curious to see, you know, what... Okay, I'm actually gonna save again, just to be safe. The other nice thing is Japanese text fits a lot more meaning and fewer character system translations despite... Might be multiple sentences despite looking like one text box. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Hold on, I'm gonna actually save. I I've been like... For, like, for, not frantically, frequently saving just in case I, uh, oopsies, I think I just saved for my last slide. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh well, it's fine. We're kind of just like going in circles. Um, I've just been saving just in case I like crash the game or something. Because <laughs> I don't want to start over from the beginning. That league building layout looked like an early concept for Rospera Gym from Gen 3. Ah, uh, I mean, it might, but. I mean, I don't know. The Rusburo's gym ne doesn't necessarily has the most doesn't necessarily have the most unique layout in the first place, to be honest. Yo, Zion, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the fire squad. I hope you enjoyed the emotes. Make sure you join the sub discord to hang out with everybody. And thanks so much for subbing. I appreciate it. The fact that a demo has this much mo this much stuff we're not meant to see. Oh yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Like I said, um, like I said, um, you know, the only really programmed parts of the game are the beginning. So, um. That doesn't surprise me. What's up, certainly? Can't believe Serebii hasn't talked about it yet. Honestly, Serebii probably doesn't want to talk about it because I don't want to get in trouble. If I had to guess. Because I saw, um... Uh... Who is it? Um... Hold on, let me look up the tweet. Um, regard, regarding supposed Pokemon Gold beta leak, interesting stuff, if it's legit, it's pretty confidential, and maybe doing content on it is playing with fire a little bit, but that's just me. That's the girl that's, like, dating the guy on Cerebi or whatever. And it, it doesn't surprise me that he's not speaking on it, even though it's legit, it could get them into trouble. It's, like, it, even playing this right now is, like, like, playing it right now and doing content on it on YouTube and stuff like that could, you know, potentially get you into some shit, but I don't really think... I really doubt, I really doubt that Game Freak will go after people. Um, I think it's more so, the, the core of the issue, like I was kind of saying earlier, is that the original demo, like, cart, whatever it is, all this, like, development equipment that the, the, some guy that died got, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, that's not his property. Yeah, he has it, and then he's, you know, all these people are, um, you know, after stuff was auctioned off, you know, they're putting it out there. So it's not necessarily, you know, his game to put out there. It's property. It's their property. Um, so that's where it's kind of like a gray area, I guess. But to be completely honest, I, I doubt they really care that much. If anything, it's more of like the legal side of things they probably would care about more. But yeah, and then it said he would. He said he wouldn't comment just in case. Um, so yeah, it makes sense, you know, if you don't want to run into trouble. Like considering they, you know, whatever. Anyway, I mean, I understand why. First floor looked like a trainer school. Yeah, but there, there's a bunch of different league areas like this. If you've been, I don't know how long you've been watching the stream, but there's a bunch, every single town, almost every single town has a league area like that. I'm no well, Zion. The fact that it's legit is why he's not putting it up anywhere. Yeah, basically legal stuff. Um, which is totally fair. Um, totally fair. 
potential leaks, but this is for sure. Yeah, there's a difference between bringing up potential leaks because you don't know if it's real or not versus something that's legitimate that... Yeah, this is awesome. I know, I'm, I'm still I'm still shook. I'm gonna be shook all day about this. I'm gonna try to stream the whole day until I have to like go eat and leave, you know? <laughs> like, oh, this is this is amazing. I never saw I never thought this would see the light of day, so I'm very happy. It's all good, Zion. Thank you for subbing. I, I'm I'm just shook that this has seen the light of day. Oh, that's made up. Do we know like the real story then? Cause I mean I, that was like posted on 4chan, right? I, I somebody linked it to me. I mean, I just want to, I just want to know how, you know, I, I just want to know, like, how this happened, because I love this stuff. The actual story behind it's a mystery. I mean, it makes sense if it's a mystery just because, like I said, you know, Game Freak or whoever, you know, they're the ones that technically own that cart. That's like, you know, when beta prototype stuff gets out into the wild, it's still, you know, you'll see stickers on stuff that says, like, property of blah 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 developer, property of Nintendo, property of whoever. And... The big part of it is, like, legally, it's their property, technically. That's, that's the thing. More so, like, I doubt, I don't want to say they probably don't care about the demo getting out, or the prototype getting out, because, you know, it's so old. And, like, fans are excited about it, like, like I said, the only really negatives I see to it are, you know, the potential, like, legal stuff. People have been trying to hijack the release since news of it started to happen. Is that why the ROM got leaked now? Because I, when I was reading, like, uh, I don't know if it was on Cutting Room Floor or the Google Doc or whatever, or something on Twitter, but people were basically saying there were rumblings of it being worked on in terms of translations, and then people were trying to get a hold of it, and then they released it early, and then the translation's still being worked on. I want to see what the ROM hack scene can do with this, just complete it so it's as legit as possible. I would be curious to see, like, a, like, no, no edits, no, like, it's really just missing scripts, yeah. I, I would want to see, like, a completed version of the prototype version, basically. Like, don't add in your own stuff, just cut or <laughs> cut up. I meant, uh, tie up loose ends sort of thing, you know? It might have been leaked due to possible- well, that's- yeah, that's what you just said. The original plan was to have it translated, documented, and basically fully understood, then released as a complete package of information in English in the originals. Gotcha. That makes sense. I- I definitely, like- I'm so happy that it, regardless of it get, got released earlier on time, I'm just happy this is out there. I mean, I feel bad for the people working on it. I, I know there, there's two people that I know from a very long time ago from some places on the internets that are like working on it, which I think is really cool. But, um, yeah, I, I'm, I appreciate what they're doing with it. I mean, yeah, it's way more hype, but I feel bad for the people that are translating it, because it's like, you know, you're working so hard on something, then it gets leaked. It's like, you know, it's kind of like how Let's Go was leaked almost, you know, so. I mean, they'd rather release it themselves than somebody, like, getting it from them, I guess. Whoa, what is this? Oh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll definitely look at the translations. I'm just curious to see if somebody ends up taking it all and, like, I mean, I'm not, like, 100% like, knowledgeable on how, it's not really more hype, nobody can understand what's going on. No, yeah, I, from a fan perspective, like, I'm excited about it, but I agree with you, Keeper. I definitely agree with you. Because there's so much misinformation. Um, I, 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 I see both sides of it. It's exciting for me to, like, play it right now, but since we don't completely understand it yet, people are going to be making stuff up as they normally do. Like, we just got the Let's Go announcements, and people still can't get the information straight on it. Like, what makes you think we're going to get the information straight on a 20-year-old demo that we still need to piece together how everything is working, you know? But, you know, I'm, I, from the fan perspective, yes, I'm excited to be playing it now, but I want to know more. But I get from the people working on it, you know, they probably are like, shit, like. Feels like old Pokemon news before the internet spoiled everything, that's fair. Feel like a kid again? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe Minecraft, but you'd, I don't know. I don't know. I think people would just want to see it for what it is, as opposed to being malicious, but that's just me. Also, I need to get water soon. I ran out of water, my throat's dying. I just want to know what this League thing is, to be completely honest. Like, I just want to know. Like, what the heck is this supposed to be? It's a trainer school and, like, a training area. Kind of similar, somebody mentioned to, um... Kind of similar to in Viridian, that one, that one area. I forget the name of it. Where you battle the guy with the starter. 
Yeah, all the all the NPC houses are the same. This is legit. Like I said, this is way more exciting to me than. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm super hyped for Let's Go, but this is such a so much of a bigger. Wait. What the hell is this? This isn't fuchsia, but. Like, I mean, I mean, I'm, like, sort of speculating based on what I see in terms of, like, oh, you know, this area has, you know, I don't know, there's one area that had a lot of aspects of olivine. Like, a lot of them aren't gonna look like what the final looks like, but maybe certain features, you know, for example, whatever violet was supposed to be, you know, there's sprout tower, there's the beta sprout tower, you know. Um, this is the gold, put one gold, uh, prototype. Safari Zone National Park? I don't think National Park. This, see, there's no area to go into a safari zone. It could just be Pokemon on display. Who knows? I don't know. But I, I don't like it's fun speculating, but don't take anything I'm saying as fact. I'm kind of just like, you know, just guessing off the top of my head based on what I'm seeing, you know? Okay, there's another area down to the south. We can go down. Um, Actually, let me open up that map picture again. I have no idea where I am, but. Town map of the region seen in the prototype. Interesting. The region found in the prototype is incredibly different to the final Johto region. It seems to be based on the entirety of Japan, with Kanto having been compressed to a single map found in the area of the real-life Kanto region. Most of the region is mapped out, with seemingly only a couple of routes from the map missing from the prototype. Most of the maps are missing scripts for NPCs, and most trainers are missing scripts for trainer battles, which is why we, can't, we don't really talk to anybody. Um, with only the demo area, Silent Hill having working trainers. Also, the collision data for most maps doesn't work properly, so, so the player is able to walk through most of the tiles that these maps are accessed. Due to this, much of the wild grass also does not function, as the collision data means it cannot be walked upon, but every area does not gain encounter data, and if loaded in the tile set used in the demo area, these grass patches can function. That's interesting. Looking at the map, I mean, I have no idea where I am, but it's basically like... I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's very horizontal. The map. This was the area before the safari zone. I don't want to say, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I literally just said Kanto was all put in one area, so. Don't expect to see Kanto, I guess. I don't know. Or, like, it's all one. It says, wait, let me read it again. With Kanto having been compressed to a single map found in the area of the real-life Kanto region. How and Sinnoh could have been conceptualized this early? No. Don't take it that way. It's meant to just be based on Japan. The region found in the prototype, one region, singular region, in the prototype is incredibly different to the final Jota region. Try not to get misinformation spread again. Seems to be based on the entirety of Japan, so literally like what Japan looks like, the shape of Japan, the different places, with Kanto having been compressed to a single map found in the area of the real life Kanto region. If you look at the overwhelm, you can see what became can cantilate and snow point and Sinnoh. If you're looking at... <laughs> Guys. <laughs> this is not Hoenn Sinnoh. This is what the... Please understand. <laughs> Please understand. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just gonna continue. If anything, it's certain areas that would be based off of areas in Japan. So yeah, you could have an area that's like, you know, Snow Point City, but it's not Snow Point City. Like there was an area that looked like it had snow on the roofs or something, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't want to be spreading misinformation. I'm just here to kind of explore this and have fun with it. We're not going to know what is what's supposed what's supposed to be what for sure until they're finished figuring out the game, like the people working on. This is still rock music. What is this? Like you, you also have to realize, too, I mean, I guess how early this really is. Like, it's not going to be some full conceptualized thing. Like, yeah, we have towns, we have a map, but it's not... I feel like nearly as in-depth as people might think it is. At least from the surface. Not until we get all the information, then you can start piecing, really piecing things together. Another league area that doesn't have... Huh, this is just a trainer school. Okay. This trainer school thing is really odd. Oh, oops. I want to know more about this. This is so weird. In an interesting way. 
Thank you guys for the follows, by the way. I appreciate it. There's stuff that's ideas in the works, but so much was not set in stone that all we can do is speculate. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be like, you know, some people will be like, they'll take like, you know, you'll say, okay, yeah, it was originally, you know, based on all of Japan, right? And you're going to run with it and be like, oh my god, this is like Beta, Beta, Hoenn, you know, before it became that. Like, no. Like, yeah, you know, there could be like a snowy area that's based on, you know, a part in Japan. It doesn't necessarily mean it's like snow point or whatever or something like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> like a lot of ideas that they come with early on are inspired or like things that they're inspired by early on end up go coming up later in the games. But that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, it was a thing, I guess. I don't really know how to put it in words. I, I just don't want, you know, rampant people taking, taking things for facts versus speculation. And like I said, I'm just speculating right now. Anyway, this is a game corner. Um... I mean, I'm just speculating now. Anyway, that is a big door, by the way. Um, but we're not going to know until, you know, it's all laid out and figured out. Good plan full for Chempo. Yeah, Mime Jr. Mime Jr. is scary. <laughs> In this version. Is this supposed to be Cer uh, Celadon? No. Oh my god. Wait. Is this the part where they said Kanto was all in one map? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. That's the... Okay, we come in. That looked like Sylphco. That looked like the game corner. This is the game... F or not the game. Is, this the is that what it is? The Game Freak building? Okay, this is weird. I figured one of them would be the Mart or something. Is this the Mart? This is the Mart! Oh my god. This is nutty. The, imagine if the games ended up being like this. Holy shit. Cerulean doesn't exist in this for some reason, does it? This is so... Crazy. Gym. Another gym. So they just put... Oh, I see. Oh my god, this is... Well, Cerulean would be it's just one house. That's not like I know I know it I literally just read Kanto is stuffed in the one area, but like this is so weird in like a cool way. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's that's something. Wow. That's really interesting. Wow. What's this? Oh, I can't go in. Rip. This is so crazy. Oh my god. I. <laughs> Imagine if it was like this. I would cry. Yo. Can we, can we get some, like... Oh my god! <laughs> this is so weird! <laughs> oh my god. This is... What? I'm shook. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta remember to go to this left area. That's probably Indigo Plateau. Or something. I don't know. Hold on. I'm gonna, like, save state really quick because I haven't saved in a while. Oh my god. I, I, I don't want to crash the game. Oh, okay. You can't even go that far. Okay. Oh my god. crazy am I back where I was it's a shame there's an old area there's an area that looks like the Johto theme of old Japanese buildings interesting what's up dark walk through walls yes we're using the debug options to walk through walls also today's the last day for the giveaway I wanted to try to hit 4k entries which we actually did so that's awesome 
But yeah, make sure to go enter if you haven't already. Thank you for following Dark Link. What's up, Zach? Oh my god, this is like mind blowing. I'm like still shook that I didn't think this we would ever see this ever. Oh my god. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I can't not say it. Nice, Shay. <laughs> I'm like, ah! this is so naughty. This is the best day ever. I didn't, I didn't think we'd ever see this. So what is, was I here before? Wait, what is this? Uh oh. Wait. Is this? Am I back? I'm back in New Bar- or sorry, Silent Hills. Oh my god, we're back at the beginning. That makes sense! Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> we just went in a circle. So wait a second. Let me actually look at this map then. So... Okay. Wow. I, I don't want to say I visit. I don't think I visited everything. Is all of Kanto here? Kanto is reduced to one singular map. All in one, like, area, basically. Which is what we just saw before this. Um, Kanto, Kanto is all in, like, one map. Versus what it is in the final game. Oh my god, this is, oops. This is insane. I'm so happy this saw the light of day. And this is only, honestly, this is, like, the, only the beginning for this. Do I have a translation? No. Um, there's people working on translating the whole game. Uh, at the moment. I'm shook. I'm so happy this saw the light of day. I'm so happy. Okay, I think I already went in here. I think I want to mess with more debug stuff after this. Because I've, I've, I've pretty much been, like, traveling this whole region the whole time. I thought I don't stream until 6pm. Um, on Tuesday, this Tuesday and Thursday, I had to do daytime streams because I have banned at night. But, um, this is the last day I have to do a daytime stream, so, um, yeah. And this is the empty trainer school, okay. Um, okay, let me look at something. What other stuff is in the, uh, maps? I want to look at the mini games as well. <laughs> okay, sound test, we can't do anything. We could do the sub games. How do I get to... Okay. Okay. Field debug menu. Okay, let's see. So this is warp. Silent Hill. So this is New Bark Town, basically. Okay, New Bark Town. Or be select. Yeah, okay. So that's Silent Hill, which is New Barkdown, pretty much. Old City, I think, is Violet City, because it has Sprout Tower. And then... So we were here before. Yeah, this is... I could have just warped everywhere instead of running around, but oh well. And then... West is the third one. I assume this is Goldenrod, maybe? This is very exciting, Hersey. I know, I'm- I'm- I'm more excited about that, this too as well. Is there a new Twitch Tips video upcoming? Um... Not anytime soon, I need to film. Uh, I'll probably have time to film next week, so hopefully within the next two weeks there'll be a new Twitch Tips. Cause I have video ideas, it's just I haven't been able to film because, um... I haven't been able to film because, um... I have banned and stuff. Me too, Coley. Oh my god, Chad. Can you force encounters? Um, the only place that has counter encounters programmed is the first part of the demo. Um, like, don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself basically for people that haven't been here the whole time, but basically, I'm, the reason why I'm more excited about this than Let's Go is because it's a, it's a bigger deal, like, historically, I feel like, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm hyped for Let's Go, and it made me play Go again, because, and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with Pokemon Go. 
Also, wait, you guys would appreciate my uh, phone background right now. Funnily enough. Um, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I'm so excited for the new Pokemon games. But this is such a big deal because this is something we never thought we would get access to. Also, Bailey's barking, so I'm going to take the opportunity to go fill my water bottle. So I'll be back in a minute. Hold on. You can listen to this music. I think Bailey was barking in her sleep or something. <laughs> she, uh, she was like, nap I think she was napping on my floor and probably barked because there's nothing outside for her to bark at. <laughs> anyway, I have water now, so my throat won't die. I've been like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say I've been losing my voice, but I've been yelling, or not yelling, but talking loudly at band lately because, you know, you got to speak over like instruments and stuff, and I don't want my voice to go out. What's up, Alice? And Silver was released in Japan back when it was released there first. I bought something and figured it out. Really? That's really cool. Oh, I heard something. This is historically huge. Gold Silver is going to be the last of the series, so seeing this is nuts. That as well. And that's definitely a big thing as well. For sure. Okay, so this is Goldenrod, which is called, I think, West City. Um. I, I know, like I said, we're not going to be able to figure out, you know, for sure and specifically what's what until, you know, they're finished, you know, figuring out everything with the game. But I think it's definitely safe to say that at least the first three towns, <laughs> we can pretty much say New Bark Town, Violet City, Goldenrod, because, you know, New Bark is the first town, <laughs> clearly. Violet City has Sprout Tower, and then this has the radio thing. But after this, besides the Kanto area, that's really obvious. Yeah, so... The tile sets are really cool. It's kind of a combo of Gem 1 and I like I would like to call this Gem 1.5 in terms of like the, the tile set and the graphics and stuff. I think it's really really neat. Okay. Soft resets for Cinequil on Crystal. Good luck on that. I gave up my hunt in Crystal for Suicune because I wanted to play the game. So Oh man. Cutting room floor is like not loading for me again. It's okay. Um, okay, so B start is- so this is the debug menu, by the way. I guess I should explain that. So the first option is warp. So first one's, uh, Silent Hill. Second one is Old City, which is Violet City. Third one's, I think, what, what did it say? West City or something? Um, or just says West. Actually, I was right about the high-tech thing. That's really interesting. There's an area that's just called high-tech in terms of translation. 
So, you know, New Bark Town, Silent Hill, Old City, Violet City, West, I'll, I'll say West City, maybe. <laughs> it was just New Bark, and then let's see what high tech is supposed to be. We've been to a lot of these places, but I don't know what name is associated with what. High tech, I don't know what high tech would have been. Um, oh, okay, this is like the third area we went to. I think we almost probably hit everything. There's not really enough for th in this area to really tell what it is, I feel like, to be honest. So I don't want like, to guess anything, but the first three I would say are pretty obvious or like, yeah. Anyway, okay, that we, we've already been here. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. This is called font. Okay. You prefer these tiles? I like that they're a mix between gem one and two in a way. Isn't there a team working on translating this? Yes. Also, could someone take this and make it a finished game with shinies and all the ditch Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, if they, if somebody could take it and tie up loose ends and everything without like changing anything like crazy, um, you could probably do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure somebody will. I don't know if the people working on it will, but like do like a quote unquote like completed, I guess ROM or completed game sort of. Like literally just tying up loose ends, making sure all the routes go to each other. Put in the trainer data, the scripts, all that sort of stuff. Program, you know, encounters, the trainers, whatever. And kind of leave it how it was meant to be, sort of. In a way, leave it how it was meant to be in a way where you can go through the game. This is just called font. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know what it's... I don't know. That, so I'm not going to try to speculate on this stuff that I don't know. Like, Unless you can tell exactly what it is based on looking at it. You know, like the first three, like New Bark, Violet, Goldenrod. Those are obvious, but this I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is called Bird On. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but sure. Yeah, we've been to a lot of these, but Bird On. Oh, this is the one that I, is like maybe kind of like Olivine, but that might be a bit of a stretch. Um, just because it has some aspects of Olivine. But you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just, this is just, this isn't any hard facts. This is just my, 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 me guessing. This is the area with the, the current, or this should be a current. Yeah, this has the current. I'm not even touching it and it's moving. See? So that one's called, oh, whoops. That one's called Bird On. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh shoot, wait, let me recount that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop, computer. One, two, three, four, Oh, you have to do it like tw five, six, seven. Wait, it's like it's the menu's being so weird. One, two, I want to make sure I get the right place. I don't want to go back to the same place. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, this should be one, two, three, four, one, two, three. This should be the next area. It's just called sugar. What did I get to use it working? I didn't do anything to get it working. I just downloaded it <laughs> from the link that. Cutting room floor. So, Jackie, how you doing? I wouldn't even say because Olivine because of the fences, because that's such a small thing. Like design-wise, a lot of these cities aesthetically are very different from what we got in the final version. The only reason I would really maybe be assuming things is more so if there's like a feature, a defining feature of a city, right? So you know, for example, you know, well besides New Bark Town, because it's the first one, but like you know, Old City has Sprout Tower, so that's clearly like the precursor to Violet City, and we've seen it in screenshots before. And then um, Goldenrod, or West West City, if you want to call it that, has the radio tower. But besides that, like that that one that looks like Olivine, maybe, yeah, it's a water city, it looks like. And there's there's some aspects in the buildings, like there's kind of like the bar area and like some other things that remind me of Olivine, but I don't want to say for sure that it is because I don't want to spread wrong information. So this one's called Sugar. I don't, oh wait, we're, have we been here? I don't think I've been here. Wait, yeah, I don't think I went here. Huh. This is a dead room. That's okay. The, even if the fences before the route look like Olivine, that, ah, uh, you can't, I honestly you can't do something, but like, in terms of like, trying to figure things out, just based by looking at it, instead of looking at like the code of the game and stuff, you have to look at the defining features of a city in terms of its function and its features. So just because the fence looks like it, like, you know, Goldenrod, for example, looks nothing like the final. 
besides, you know, the reason that we can tell it's Goldenrod is because it's a radio tower. That's one of the big aspects of it. You can tell Violet City, or the old city, is meant to be Violet City because it's, because it's a Sprout Tower. That's a defining feature of it. I wouldn't say what the fences look like is a defining or functional feature of a town. So yeah, we can maybe guess it could be similar to Olivine, but who even knows? It could have been something that was, never, that was never meant to be Olivine because you can't put one and one to each of these. Any of these could have been scrapped um, at any point and reworked into something brand new, completely new. Um, so yeah, we can maybe guess, but we're not going to know until they're done figuring out the game. Or, you know, that's like Kanto is a completely different... Kanto is all in one map instead of one area. Um, but anyway, so this is sugar. That's all it says in the menu. Can't go through there, so that doesn't surprise me. This is like a very small area. <laughs> huh. Okay, well... Yeah, it's just surrounded by water. Lake of Rage? I, I actually don't think Lake of Rage is in this version, from what I remember. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Lake of Rage is not in this. Like, it wasn't even a thing yet. So, I mean, that seems like a water route, though, and then we're back kind of to one of the areas where we're at. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Mika, how you doing? Oh, we were here before. Okay. So is this, this is blue forest? It does, I'm not gonna lie. It like looks like it's meant to be snow on top of the buildings, but who knows? I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be based off of areas in Japan, but. Anyway, um, so there's that, and then, like I said, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I like speculating, but I don't want to speculate too much, because, like, we're not going to know until they figure it all out in the code, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, whoa, wait. Oh, it saved my cursor, that's nice. Fifteen, north, south, canto, stand. Okay, this is the next one, it's called stand, <laughs> or translated as stand. No, Minecraft, I, I get where you're coming from, but Lake of Rage was not even, like, in this at all, to my knowledge. So, you can translate. <laughs> it's being translated, but I'm using, I'm using, um, like, a wiki page that tells me what everything is. <laughs> but it, but I appreciate it. Um, so I think I have to go to the whole menu again, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, 15, it seems to save your cursor on at certain points. Uh, 15, 18, north, south. I believe... North, south. This should be Kanto. This should be Pallet Town, I'm pretty sure. But... Like, like I said, you can't... Oh, no, it's not. Wait, what? Oh, no, wait. This is... Is this the Kanto area? I think this is the yeah this is the Kanto area. Okay, it doesn't bring you to Pallet Town. It brings you to like the Mishmash, the Mishmash Kanto ness. Um, I don't really know. This is just like one map of Kanto, like it's all on one map versus it being what we know in the final games. So, I think that's honestly that's definitely one of the biggest like revelations about this. I guess if that's the right word, because like we knew we all knew or like well, like most of us I would hope. Like, a lot of people know that, you know, Iwata helped them with gold and silver, and they made it so they compressed Kanto, you know, they got Kanto to, all of Kanto to fit on the cartridge, basically, right? But it could have been like this, where Kanto was all just one on, on one map. And honestly, this is kind of overwhelming, or underwhelming, excuse me. A little bit underwhelming, not gonna lie. So I'm, I'm glad they, uh, shoutouts to Iwata, he's great, I miss him. But, uh, so that, that's a thing. That is a thing. Definitely glad it ended up how it ended up. And then 15 and 18 are the last. 15, 18, and then Silent Hill map, Forest Dungeon near Second Town. I think I already went there. That, but that forest map potentially could have been. This is just a route. That forest map potentially maybe could have been something else. I like forest since it says Forest Dungeon near Second Town. So it's like kind of near the beginning, but who knows? Hot guess see. Oh my god, I've been playing. <laughs> I've been playing a demo version for like over two hours. Well, over two hours, but <laughs> that's really funny. And then, I mean, I don't really care about the routes, but I'll go there just to show it. 
Yeah, it's this is honestly like I I personally think and I think others would agree with me that this is pretty huge that this happened like that it's out there cuz I honestly thought the Space World demo was something that would never like see the light of day. Oh, this is I don't think we were in here before. We never got to be in here. Um this is a forest dungeon. Could be a precursor to Ilex Forest. Who knows? I don't want to like say anything's fact. Obviously, nothing I say is fact. I'm just speaking out, you know, just my own thoughts. But you know, hey, Forest Dungeon, you know, Ilex Forest. Who knows? But yeah, there's really nothing that much in here to be honest. Um, this is kind of neat though. I actually do like this a lot since it actually feels like more of a challenge than Ilex Forest. And then you go into the next town. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh, that's like right after Violet City. Well, sort of. Or no, this is Violet City. Forest dungeon near second town. Wow, that's really interesting that there is maybe a forest dungeon right before going to Violet. As opposed to after. But, um, okay, cool. So we went through all the warp areas, so that's neato. Um, interesting. This is where you go if you start, if you go left from the starting time. So kind of interesting, interesting. That's really cool. Um, there's a character viewer, but I don't really care about that since we've literally seen all the NPCs. Uh, transportation lets you choose between four movement types. Walking, biking, skateboarding, which I believe is left over from Gem 1, and Lapras, which is the same as surfing. Um... Time adjustment. Tool gear lets you test transitions between day and night, as well as to change the duration of day and night. Clock will show the current time on a small HUD at the bottom of the screen. Coordinate will... Did I say coordinate? I meant coordinate. <laughs> will show the current coordinate of the protagonist at the bottom of the screen. Adjust will let you change the time. 60, 60, 60 seconds will make a day to night darkness transition every 60 seconds. I'd be curious to see that when it's just like green, but... 24 hours will make the clock go back to its normal 24 hour state or make 24 hours pass. Our days of the week even present in this build. If a race, and then a race removes the time thing at the bottom. Um, PC will let you access the PC from anywhere. This is necessary to reach the storage systems because PCs and Pokemon centers do not function. Let's uh, mess around with those two then. That sounds fun. Sorry, hold on. I gotta plug in my headset. It's dying. There we go. Why haven't we gotten skateboarding? I don't know. Skateboarding was for this jump. I got cut at some point. There's tiny amount of leftovers. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I might be thinking of something else in Gen 1. There was something... There's an item in Gen 1 that... It wasn't a skateboard. What was it? I swear there was something in Gen 1 that was very, very similar. What was it? Was it not in Gen... Maybe I am thinking of Gen 2. Maybe I'm getting it mixed up, but... Or a surfboard in Gen 1? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Wasn't there like a surfboard or skateboard item in Gen 1? That's like a glitch item? Or am I crazy? Or maybe I'm think maybe I'm getting it mixed up with Gen 2. My I'm rusty, but Surfboard was Gen 1. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I, I I keep getting them mixed up. Okay, let's um I'm 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 gonna say it for like the five hundredth time. I'm like honestly shocked that this is it's 2018 and I'm playing the Space World demo. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so warp, character viewer, transportation. I don't really care about the transportation. I mean, let, let's see. Walking, biking. Let's see what skateboarding does. It's probably the... Dear God. Oh my God, make it stop. Stop! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that sprite for the skateboard is very weird, by the way. Steve Davis, six months in a row. I appreciate it, friend. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, that skateboard animation. <laughs> what in the world? That's definitely a new one. Okay, let's look at, uh... Time adjustment. The clock will show the current time. That's neato. That's really cool. Oh, pressing start will... Of it, it looks like oh no it honestly it'd be kind of neat to have something like this in the final game but i will say it's kind of unnecessary like it, it would have been cool to have in the final game but it's also a bit unnecessary because you could just check the poke gear okay i want to see what 
is the green nighttime and this daytime? That inch, that night to dark. Wait, 60 seconds will make a day to night darkness transition every 60 seconds. That'd be really interesting if in the final game, instead of just flashing colors, you know, to when it's nighttime. Okay, that's okay. Okay, we can stop that now. <laughs> okay, it's it's time to stop. It's time to stop. Thank you. Okay, well that was neat. Okay, I want to see what this PC thing is though. Okay, anybody that can read Japanese? Is this withdrawal? Oh, those are my items. S question mark, question mark, question marks, PC. Let's see. Scyther. Oh, uh, you gotta manually do it. Scyther. Anchor dude. Marl. Huh. Oh, is this withdrawal? Was that just view? I can't... I... Oh, I don't want to release my Pokemon. No, 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 no! Okay. Interesting. And what's this? Hall of Fame? It's probably your items, Bill's PC Hall of Fame, if I had to guess. I don't, I don't read Japanese, so... It's just the PC or storage Bill's boxes. Yeah. Interesting. Let me look into the build. Let me look at this again. Is this just view your Pokemon and then withdraw? But it doesn't let me withdraw anything. Or deposit anything. Oaks, Dex. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right on that. That's it. I wonder. It doesn't work. No, it's an illicit price. Wait, do I have two Pokemon? Wait. I figured that second part was like, you know, deposit, but I only have one Pokemon. Oh! Was that a swap? Was that like a swap Pokemon button? Okay. Okay, I'm, um, yeah, sure, let's go with that. Okay, page two. Um, shop opens the shop menu, lets you buy whatever you want. Heal will instantly heal your Pokemon. Pokegear, this is what I'm interested in. Experimental opens a primitive interface for the Pokegear. You can view the current time, change the radio channel, look at the town map, view the phone screen. Even if you can't call anyone, it only displays a screen that says out of range with a text box that says darn. Oh, wow. Town map, baby! Yes, this is what I want. Except you can't do anything. Of course there's... This is cool. Wait! That track sounds different. Hold on. Hold on. Battle soundtrack, go. No. There's a drum part, or like a... Ba, ba, ba. You hear that like... There's like a little noise sound in the background that goes along with the melody, like... Ba, 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 da, ba. Like, the, it's kind of like, it kind of sounds like white noise on I don't know if that's intentional or it just wasn't finished. Okay, now it sounds like white noise, like it wasn't finished. Wait a second, isn't this a Gen 1 song? What am I saying? But still, it sounds different. Whatever. I just... Yeah, like the percussion or something is weird? I don't know. But this is a Gen 1 song anyway, so why would it be different? Out of range, okay. Well, that's neato. Um, mini games. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Poker? 
Does anybody know if this was in like the Japanese version at all or something? I don't know how to play this. <laughs> I don't know how to play this. And then a matching game. I know about, I've heard about the matching game before, but none of these made it to like the final version, right? Okay, can I get out of here, please? How many tries do I get? I'm no Mel Mountain, how you doing? Why am I not playing Pokemon Quest? Um, I played it like two days ago, that's why. Um, cause I don't, I'd rather play this than Pokemon Quest. Yeah, I like the hi-hat. Scrap Kragan. Yeah, I've heard about this before. Okay, I wanna, is it not gonna let me, oh, I ran out of coins, okay. Yeah. That's cute, though. I feel like I remember hearing about this. I don't know. I don't know if it was ever, like, found before or known about before. Um, in-game mapper. Ooh, this is neat. That's cool. That is really neat. View objects and coordinates for the current map that you're on. That's neato. Okay, so, oh wait, yeah. No, leave. Okay. Um, test lets you see all the tiles loaded for the map that you're on, as well as the tile sets for battle and overworld sprites. Oh, what? Is it not? Did I click the wrong thing? Am I on the right page? Sorry, I'm like trying to look at this. That was left over in the final? I know I, know I recognize the card game, not the other one though. Breath Think the Host. Coding practice? I highly doubt all of that was... Just coding practice. <laughs> um. Am I on the wrong page? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I am. Oh, here we go. So this is that's cool. That's all the tiles. How do I get out of it though? The real question is how do I get out of this? Pressing some buttons will advance the test to another screen. Others will make it go back to the previous screen. Okay, there we go. Well, that was cool. Um. Um, and then I'm not interested in the come along thing because I don't want to crash the game. And this is just a map. This is what it, the game could have looked like and I'm really glad it didn't. Don't get me wrong, this is cool, but. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well, I think that's pretty much, I mean, almost everything. Um, like, at least in terms of, not everything, everything, but honestly, I, I'm definitely interested for when, the, the main thing that I'm interested in, in, in at this point is, um, you know, the Pokemon, like, officially, it looks similar. I can see how it looks similar, but in terms of the areas, I mean, it, you gotta realize it is very early on. So, like, it's not gonna be as good, but, you know. Oh my god, the music. Kill me. Let me reset. Okay. Oh yeah, see, it's weird, and it gives you the- this is the final border, right? Or was it? Or no, it was the other one. I think the other one, I don't remember seeing that border before, but this one. I think this- which one is the final border that was used? Does anybody remember? I think it was this one. This one I recognize, the other one I don't. But, yeah, I know about the flying menu thing. Um, dude, this intro is very interesting. There's no music, that's why there's no sound, but- I, I'm I'm mainly interested once they once they start figuring everything out is like you know all the Pokemon. I mean we kind of can figure out already what stuff um like what evolves into what and all that sort of stuff. But uh, oh I want to get that Pikachu mini game. It's it's so weird. Depending on when you reset it will depend what starter you get. I mean because it's a demo, and then also the Pikachu mini game at the beginning. It's like a little mini game. I'll I'll try resetting it again. But um yeah. I'm mainly interested in the Pokemon and what the areas are supposed to be, you know? 
Let me try resetting it again. Let me see. I, I want to get that Pikachu mini game so I can show you guys. I want to see it in color as well. It's of Arctic. Yeah, Charizard looked a little bit different. Just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it this time. Oh, I I think I clicked start over it. Crap. Hold on. Leave the title screen on. Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. I didn't know that. Um I, I wanna know I wanna know more about the Pokemon. Obviously the scrap the ones, because that's really cool. And then I really want to know what towns, you know, we're supposed to be kind of what, I guess, you know? And like how it connects and how it really like be different from the final game. It pops up when it times out and starts to interrupt. Ah, uh -huh. I gotcha. Was it Phoenix? Because, like, it's... <laughs> I'm going to say it for the 500th time. I'm honestly shook that this happened. I'm really happy that this happened. I mean, I wish they could have, you know, I wish it didn't get... I wish it didn't get released early. I'd rather have everything together, you know? Like, because, you know, there's people working hard to, like, get this to happen and translate it and everything and figuring everything out, but... I'm not... I, I'm very happy that this happened. That it... Some somehow we got like a twenty-year-old prototype demo, whatever, of a game, and this game would have been very different. And I'm kind of glad it got delayed, because I'm, I'm pretty sure Gen Two got delayed a bit. I'm very glad it got delayed because I like the final product. You can definitely tell. I mean, clearly this is a prototype, so like it, less time was spent on it, so there's less polish, clearly. But even if you can imagine what this would be as like a final game. In terms of, like, the concept, like, the towns, the Pokemon and stuff. Not even just the looks of it. Ignore the looks of it, because, you know, it's Gen 2, but... Like, it's definitely, you know, Gen 1.5 versus, you know, going into Gen 2. <laughs> so, I mean, I I'm glad they took longer, because... If they would have put this out, then it would have been very different. Which doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I just, you know, obviously, we all probably prefer the final game. Over something that's, m like, unfamiliar. But, uh... This is definitely, this is definitely something to see. It's definitely a sight to see that I didn't think we would ever, you know, be able to, you know, recover the demo, let alone be able to play it just instantly. Okay, here's the mini game. You press A to jump. I don't know what the text at the bottom of the screen says, but you can just collect a bunch of music notes. I, I assume this wasn't for the full game. I assume this was maybe specifically for the demo because it was at like a trade show or whatever, Space World, so. Push start to go back to title, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think this is something, I think this is just something for funsies versus something that would actually be in the final game, but that's just my speculation. There's, I don't know if there's really any way to confirm that, but, and there's no music to it either. That makes it me like more sad. If you collect enough, it ends. How Do you know how many you have to get? Oh my God, it's so cute though. This kind of reminds, not gonna lie, this kind of reminds me of one of those knockoff, um, like, Pokemon games that you find on, like, NES or something, with, like, I don't know, not saying it doesn't look, like, legit, but, like, you know, this isn't, like, you know, you wouldn't see this normally in Pokemon, so it kind of reminds me of that. Imagine if they had released this instead of Mario Run. <laughs> hey, We hit Jigglypuff, cool. And then there's musical notes on the screen, which is cute, but, anyway, um... Yeah, that's the gold prototype. Wow. I'm- this is honestly, like, kind of the best thing ever because I've always, you know, wanted to know more about this sort of stuff and now we have it, like, right here, you know? I might highlight this whole VOD and maybe put it on YouTube or something, but, um, yeah, I don't really think there's that much else for me to go through. I mean, I can look at this Google Doc again, but... Yeah, I mean, there, there's still more documentation and stuff to be done, you know, but, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's really crazy, but I, I'm, I'm going to read through this before I, if I, hold on. Um, glitches and oddities. Yeah, there's probably definitely specific glitches to this version. And just, the other thing that kind of stinks too, I mean, since it's just like a prototype, like demo or whatever, it's like you want, like after seeing this, it's like you want more, but there's not necessarily more unless it gets like dug up or something, you know? But, uh, I, I definitely want to look more into the Pokemon stuff and like, you know, some of the moves and especially the areas and stuff like that. I wonder actually, wait a second. There's some 
trainer sprites that are different, but we haven't seen them. It looks like Jasmine's sprite looks way different, but I mean, I like it. I mean, I can't really. If you guys go on the Google Doc that has all this information that's been going around, you can see it. It's all the stuff that they've documented so far. But, um, oh, here's the thing that has all the map. So I was reading out the maps earlier, but the map names. So in the demo, Silent Hill is New Bark Town. Old City is like Violet City. West Town or City is like Goldenrod. High Tech, which is the place that has the aquarium, doesn't really equate to, it doesn't, they don't mention a name that it equates to, but it says has PC shop, aquarium, league, 2F with last, maybe it could be a bit near Jasmine. Fount has, is similar to the ruins of Alf, has PC shop and ruins, may refer to the ruins of Alf like fountain or font in the center of the town, that makes sense. Burden is yellow, it's like Azalea, it has a well, there's a league area with a youngster that could have been Morty or somebody. New type is like Olivine, that's the one with the cafe and the dojo. Sugar is like Mahogany, which has a shop, cave, PC. Um, blue forest, snubble forest, question mark. It's purple, it's snowy, that's the one we were thinking of. Has a PC shop, cave with house with Agatha, and then a league with a last that maybe could have been Jasmine, with a cemetery gym. Possibly snubble forest as Japanese characters that I can't read, is snubble. It could have been this game Celebi, it's fairy type in later games, and one one of the last in the demo list, no evolution either. That would be weird, but who knows. Um, Kanto, we already went through. Stand, which is a green town, has PC shop, rocket base, radio house, zoo. That's the one with the zoo, and then there's a league with the Pokemon fan. I assume maybe leagues were like, meant to be the gyms, but just in a different way. I, I don't really know, but anyway. Oh, wait, did I just click something on my Streamlabs? It just said Streamlabs alert, successfully sent donation test alert, but I don't have this on. <laughs> I would like to see the updated versions of the sprites. What do you mean, like, updated versions? But, that's really interesting. Debug menus, I already went through that. That's already on cutting room floor. And then the music. I think all the music's pretty much the same. From I mean, from what I listen to. Yeah, it is true. We just played for it for like almost four hours. But, um, that's pretty much it. Um, there's really not that much else for me to go through with this. This is super fun. Um, I'm definitely not going to shut up about this for the next like month, probably. So, sorry. <laughs> I can't wait to like find out new things and stuff in this game. Um, oh wow, looks like a lot of people are streaming Pokemon Quest. I might stream more Pokemon Quest at some point. It was really fun, but. I can't really see myself playing it, like, super seriously or for that long, just because it's very grindy and, like, pay to win, sort of. You have to, like, pay to keep going. Or maybe. Or, like, wait. Um, they show Cyndaquil and so it's a shiny profess. Um, hello? Wait, what do you mean, Ray? What do you mean? I'm confused. 3D ones of the scrap designs. Well, th there's already artists that are doing like 2D, kind of like um, Gem 1 style artwork or Gem 1, Gen 2 style artwork of the uh, newer character or the newer Pokemon or not newer Pokemon, but new to us, but we're cut. There, people are, are doing art of that. It'd be interesting to see 3D models though of them. Lapras looks a bit better in the final version. I definitely like the version of Charizard here. Yeah, the Lapras definitely looks better. They they definitely took from the original like Lapras sprite and the, the Magikarp don't look as good or not don't look as good. Like this Lapras looks older. Did I shiny hunt? No, there's not really encounters in this game, so no. Um, hold on, I want to see the Charizard now that you bring that up. Hold on. Like, this is pretty much the same, except Pikachu looks, like, more shaded. I don't really know how to describe it. I like Derby Lapras because it's similar to the Gem 1 sprite, but let me see this really quick. Charizard looks more... His, like, the thing that's, like, really different is, like, I don't know how to describe this, like, his arch of his eye in the final is more, like, pronounced triangle ness where this, it just looks, like, smoothed over, if that makes sense. He's more round, yeah, exactly, he's more round, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I like them both, but I think it's more refined in the final, which makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, I think that's cool. Um, 
I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, there, there's not too much in this. What time is it? 3.41. Hmm. A lot of these early designs favor you don't play at the game. What are you talking about? We're, what? <laughs> I think a lot of these early designs definitely are reminiscent. But definitely, I mean, I'll go through the deck. Well, actually, wait, oops. I was gonna go through the decks again really quick. Um, a lot of them definitely are very similar. Uh, uh, what? What, 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 do you see that? <laughs> what is it, select B? Or start B? I don't remember what it is. Hold on, I gotta open it again. The sweet cone is, um, interesting. <laughs> Hold on, let me open the Google Doc again. Like, like I said earlier, a lot of the Dex designs are very Gen 1.5 because it's in between Gen 1 and 2. So a lot of them are in a very similar style to Gen, similar, similar style to Gen 1, um, with like the colors and like the the aesthetics and stuff, which is like really interesting to see, I think. Um, but uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, debug menu. Shoot, I just had it open. Hold on. How do I do it on the menu again? I don't know what happened to that border, by the way. All I did was reset the game, so. Oh, it's just select? Is it just select? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, thank you. I forgot. There we go. Yeah, cutting room floor is taking like 500 years to load, so it's okay. Thank you. Yeah, like. Here, let's go through the decks. Giraffe's pre Evo looks cool, I think. Did I see its back sprite? I did. <laughs> I did. Actually, I want to try to load Leafeon again. Leafeon, I think past Leafeon crashes the game. Hold on, let me see. Because I didn't get to see Leafeon. What are you confused about? We're near the end of the daytime stream. I'm not going to. I guess I can keep stalling to like four, so it's a full four hour stream. But we've been playing this the whole time. Apom. Leafeon didn't crash the game this time. Maybe because I'm playing in the debug mode. Um, the reason Ho-Oh has musical notes is because the... So you know in the beginning when Pikachu pushes Jigglypuff out of the way? Like that section? Um, that section of like the title screen, if you keep it idle on the title screen for a long time, it turns into a mini game where Pikachu's jumping through that forest background collecting music notes. And that's why when you go on the title screen, there might be uh, music notes, so. This is Leafeon, by the way. In color. Actually, let's see what happens if I click down. Nothing. Okay. When I tried doing it before, my... It crashed. Or, like, when I got to Leafeon, the game crashed. So that could have been who knows what, but... I'm, I'm also shook by the fact that Leafeon... Is, like... Has... Oh, yeah. I, I'm shook. About Leafeon. <laughs> Yeah, it is, Dragon. This is Leafeon, yes. Leafeon was cut. Leafeon was cut. This dex order is definitely interesting. I mean, I don't know if the index numbers are different, but... I mean, I, I don't know, but... It's definitely interesting to see. I'm surprised Leafeon didn't make it in Gen 3. Well, the thing is, they do new they do new evolutions every even number gen, so that's why it was for four, which I mean makes sense. They don't want to saturate it too much just because Eevee sells like a metric butt ton of merchandise, <laughs> you know. But so like this gen would have been Leafeon, Espeon, and Umbreon. Yeah, pretty much Dragon. I mean, there's there's a few Pokemon like that where they. They come up with the design like in the earlier gens, but it doesn't come, it doesn't get released until later. That's like, uh, you know, Shellos was supposed to be a gen earlier. I'm sure there's other examples. I don't remember off the top of my head at the moment. Gen 4, Leafeon, dumbass. First of all, you're being really rude. Second of all, this is a prototype of Pokemon Gold where Leafeon was a concept, but it did not come out in this gen. It came out in gen 4. Also, you're ban evading. I'm like 99% sure. I know who you are, so. Unless you want to get banned again, but it seems a little bit far-fetched. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you're that, like, if all of this is flying over your head enough to where you don't realize this is a prototype of Gen 2, and there is a Leafeon prototype in front of you, like, 
I don't know. I, I swear, sometimes when I stream, I swear people hear like every other word I say. And I don't get it. Like, <laughs> it's really funny. But yeah, there, there's a lot of Pokemon that, you know, they're designed earlier but didn't come until later. I mean, I guess Livia now being confirmed is one of them. Shellos was another one. I'm, I'm trying to remember. There might be a few in here. Mime Jr. There's a few Gen 4. There's, there's a few Gen 4 Pokemon in this, you know, that were supposed to come out in Gen 2 and they, you know, just got cut and put in later. Honestly, I think this was a fan hack. If you weren't here, this is not a fan hack. Trust me. Trust me. Apom. Was Apom? I like this version of Leafeon better. I see where you're coming from. Because Leafeon definitely looks more like a tree. Which is kind of cool. That Mime Jr. is terrifying. I love Mime Jr. in Gen 4. I don't know why. I just... When I was... When Gen 4 came out, Mime Jr. was like... I, I think I had one on my team or something. I don't know. I got really attached to it. This... The Steel Ditto. That's crazy. That is crazy. But yeah, so you got... I like that Leafeon looks more like a tree in this. Because Leafeon that came out... You know, the, the final Leafeon looks kind of just like an Eevee with leaves. But don't get me wrong, I like both of them. So, the Ditto Evo is cool. I'd just be curious to how that works. Gen 1 was 3. Yeah, that's a good point, Herzy. I didn't even think about that. That's a really, really good point. I, I just wonder... I'm just curious why they maybe scrapped Leafeon. I'd love to know the reasons why. Whether, you know, they just wanted to add 2. Or... What it seems... What it seems based off of... um. What it seems, based off of this Dex anyway, is that they had a lot of pre-evolutions to Gen 1 Pokemon. Like, a lot of a lot more baby Pokemon than what actually came out. And, you know, some evolutions to some Gen Pokemon as well. Yeah, as well as some Gen 1 evolutions to Pokemon as well. I'd love to, like, go through and compare the Dex. I mean, I could do that right now, actually. Because I, I, I'll go till 4. That'll be a good 4-hour stream, because... I don't think I can go past four because I got stuff to do, but... Let's actually look at this really quick since we're talking about the decks. Because, like, for anybody just coming in, I I've been playing this game. I've been playing the demo or prototype for, like, three, four hours now. And I've pretty much seen everything that's to be seen. Um, so, you know, let's actually go through it really quick. Let's go through the Gen 2 decks really fast. Um, again, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to compare what Pokemon is in that slot versus what Pokemon came out. Because, you know, some of these did end up getting scrapped. So, let me see. Or changed. Let me actually go to... Hold on a second. I gotta, like, move all these windows around on my monitor. So let's go back... To two... Or no, sorry. One. Mm -hmm. What's up, T. Robinson? What's up, Star? <clears throat> if it's every even gem we get an evolution then wouldn't we be getting one in gem eight? Yeah. then wouldn't we be getting one in gen 8 there's a lot of speculation that like the special pokemon are um the special pokemon that's supposed to be in let's go is going to be a new evolution which i wouldn't be surprised what's up games i mean i think the togepi in this version pretty much looks the same it's just yellow and bigger i, I think the i like the final togepi though because it emphasizes that it's you know a baby pokemon is small Steel Ditto makes me think of how <laughs> it does. It does. I have wanted a flying evolution for so long, but like if they if they put out a flying evolution and it's not like the one I have in my head, not that I'm gonna be disappointed because I can't expect them to read my mind. I just hope it looks like what I want it to. Kind of like I don't want to say like angel wings, but like I don't know. It just looks in my head. It looks really cool. It does Minecraft. Design process would have suffered and become the least popular at this point. What, Leafeon, or do you mean adding three Eevees every gen? Does it have wings? No, just wings, not its ears would be wings, no. It'd just be wings on the back of it. Dragon Evolution would be dope. Um, 21 different Evolutions now if they did three every gen. Yeah. Yeah, that... I, I would love to see a dual-type Evolution. The only problem is... They need to make a t an Evolution for every single type before they did dual-types, I think. I want to play this in color, but the version is just black and white. It's not the version that you're using is black and white. It depends what emulator you're using. Um, you need, uh, like, the super game. You need to, I don't know if you're using BGB Gam Gambate or whatever, but you need to have the super Game Boy thing enabled in whatever emulator you're using. Ghost would be, any, any new type evolution would be cool. I'm fine with whatever. 
Okay, so this is Bayleaf. Aspen, they were the host. This is, this is Bayleaf, so we went through this. So, I already went through the decks earlier, but this time we're gonna go through and see what Pokemon got cut, and then what replaced it. But Aspen, they were the host of the James. Um, so yeah, Bayleaf. Bayleaf, that's Bayleaf. Not really, but it has a different name, but yeah. Anyway, let's continue. And then, not Cyndaquil line, which, you know, was replaced with Cyndaquil. What is it, Flame Bear? Or Flam Bear? Flame Bear? I'm gonna call it Flame Bear. Flam, or it says Flam Bear, Vol Bear, Dyna Bear. So it's basically a flaming bear. And then, Cruise, Aqua, Aquarius, which is Totodile. Well, not Totodile, but, you know. Totodile replaced it. A normal, I don't, I hope they don't do a normal type evolution. I'd be really disappointed. What's up, Jakario? Why does everything sound like Nidorino? Because this is a prototype. And it's a demo. This was not meant to be seen. Yeah, I like the... <clears throat> I like the original fire and water starters for this. But I also really like Totodile and Cyndaquil. I think they're a lot more inspired. I don't know. The Aqua thing kind of reminds me of Hoplio and um, Oshawott. And the other one is just a flaming bear. Which kind of reminds me of... Kind of reminds me of Typhlosion. I don't know. I'm not a fan of Cyndaquil. I mean, that's fair. I would just, I would love to see if, like, the cut Pokemon they ended up, you know, adding back in, but. But anyway. So let's go through this. So that's Knocked Owl. That's the original Knocked Owl, which kind of looks like a Pidgeotto if you just made it really vertical, now that I think about it. Reap. Flaffy. Ampharos. Okay. Baby Vulpix. Or, sorry, Trifox. Trifox. Trifox's dex spot is where Ledian's supposed to be. So I wouldn't say Ledian replaced it. Because, I mean, it's there's a difference between, like, its index number and its dex number. So when I say, like, I don't want to say, like, you know, Ledian replaced this. Because Ledian's already in this dex. Something else probably replaced this Pokemon when it got cut. Like, a newer Pokemon. A new Gen 2 Pokemon. Versus, like, a pre-evo or a post-evo to, like, a Gen 1 Pokemon. But, you know, Ledian is in is 166 in the dex. Um, actually, if I scroll up, it should give me its index number, I think, right? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not saying Ledian replaced it. I'm just saying Ledian in the final game is at this point in the decks. Where, right now, there's baby bull picks. But the index number will actually tell you the real, I guess, like, order. So then, 167 in the Gen 2 decks is Spinarak. But, you know, it's, like I said, Spinarak's in this. So, if I did it based on, you know, index number, it'd be a lot more accurate, probably. Um, actually, wait, I wonder, is this... Internal ID, red and blue in the demo. Oh, okay. Demo, internal ID. Okay. I see, so we want to compare those two numbers. Okay, let me look really quick. This is kind of confusing me. Hold on. So... Oh, these are all... Okay, so, okay. Never mind, it's... Never mind, ignore what I said. <laughs> Aqua looks so much cooler. Crazy thing for the host. Yeah, me too, games. I really like it. Tortuga was thought to be a cut, but re-added Mon. Yeah, there is a... Um, there is a picture, like, pre, like, Gen 2 artwork that is a Pokemon that looks very similar to Tortuga. Um, but, I mean, it's not in this, so we don't know if it ever... We don't know if it ever made it to the end, but... That's really cool, right? Anyway, when I say, you know, like, for example, you know, uh, where are we right now? We're at the Tangrowth thing. <laughs> when I say that, like, you know, you know, this Tangrowth looking thing, which it's actually called Jalanla. This is 168 in the decks, and then in the, in the final game, this is where Ariados would be. So, like I said, Ariados didn't necessarily replace it. It would depend on its index number, but... This is where it would be in, like, the normal decks, so. Because Eridos is already in this. So, for example, let's say we went to... This is supposed to be Mantine. This is, like, Beta Mantine. Um, so, for example, like... This is an interesting one. So, th this is maybe a case of, you know, maybe a, a Pokemon replacing a cut design. 
So, 171 in the final game. This is not index number, so, you know, could be wrong. Don't take it for fact. This is just speculation. So, this is dex number 171. And Lantern, I believe, is in this spot in the final game. And Chin, chin Chow, Chin Chu, however you say it, is right before it. So, you know, maybe instead of having an evolution for Quillfish, they were like, hey, let's just put in this one. Because, honestly, this does kind of share similarities between, like, you know, like, Lantern, kind of, in a way. It's a bit of a stretch, but hey, you never know. This is just me guessing. Pichu, an abomination. Quelfa, an abomination. Iglybuff, an abomination. Quagsire, looking normal. Natu, Zatu. Baby Goldeen, which... Zatu is where Baby Goldeen is in the final game, so... I don't know. It makes sense. They, they scrapped a lot more baby Pokemon, it seems like. Oh, they, they scrapped a lot of baby Pokemon and a lot of Gen 1, like, evolutions, basically. Which, I guess, makes sense. Because you want, you want to have more po new Pokemon than old ones, I guess. Yeah, like, for example, like, where Marl is in the decks in here is where Mareep is, so. I mean, they definitely shifted things around, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, it doesn't make sense that, you know, Mareep replaced Marl, because that doesn't make sense. Um, so, yeah. It's a quasi. Yeah, this is the last daytime stream for a while. I just have banned tonight, so that's why I'm streaming now. No, not in four minutes. I'll end once I get through this. Um, I mean, I've almost been live for four. I'll go for, like, 20 more minutes or something. What, however long it takes me to get through this, I'll go. Basically. Um, so this is a new Pokemon that got scrapped. So, in the decks, this Pokemon... Let's see. Sunmola1. That's the English name. And then Anchorage, which is a pretty cool name. And then Grotesque, or Grotesque, or Grotesque. It's, it's supposed to be like, mean like Grotesque, like in English. But it, from this thing, it says, you know, it could have been, it could have influenced Huntail, Sharpedo, um, Lantern, Gorbis, however you say it, which makes sense. So, I don't know, they could have reused aspects of it in later gens, which makes sense. But then, like, the thing is, you know, in the final game, Flaffy, Ampharos, and Blossom took up those slots. In the decks, not index number. They took the slots up in the decks. But, you know, they're already in this deck. So, like I said, things get moved around. So, if I knew what, like... If I had a list of the index number of, like, the final game... Like, what index number each Pokemon was, like, internally, I, it could make... You could maybe be like, oh, this replaced this, but... We don't know for sure unless, you know, they actually say that. Because, you know, they could have changed things up. Um... Crobat... Crobat is called Exine? Wait, early Crobat was called Exine. <laughs> and then in the final Marls in this deck slot. Baby Paris, which got cut. This would have been a Azumarill. I forgot. I couldn't remember if Azumarill is Gen 1 or Gen 2 or 3, but it was Gen 2. So that's interesting. You know, maybe they were like, hey, let's add a Marl evolution instead of a Paris pre Evo. Like, don't get me wrong, it's cute. But, like, what's the point of a Paris pre-Evo? Like, it seems like they, they thought that everything needed to be three-stage when it necessarily didn't need to be. So, I don't know. Uh, Spinarak, this is where Sudowoodo would have been. Um, and then, uh, Ariados, which is where Politoed is, and Politoed... Sudowoodo is not in the prototype, but Politoed is, and it's an abomination of a Politoed IMO. Quasi! Save it 100 bid! It's two shark Pokemon we missed out on the first two gens. This is not Jawsome. <laughs> Skarmory. There is this whole theory about Skarmory being the Pokemon Silver mascot, but it got debunked. Um, where Skarmory is is where Hopip is in the final game, but Hopip's in this deck, so, you know, it doesn't really stand for anything. And then, this beautiful thing. Animon. Ditto with Metal Coat. Or, like, Ditto... Evolves from Ditto with Metal Coat. I wish this was real. I love it. I think it's cute. Um, where it is in the decks is where Skiploom ended up being, but that doesn't really mean anything because Skiploom is also in this deck. So, whatever. Um, baby Doduo. They, they really cut a lot of baby Pokemon, which makes sense. I feel like if this actually ended up being true, then, you know... If this actually ended up being true, then, you know, Gen 2 could have been known the, the game with a bunch of baby Pokemon. Like, I don't know what sort of... I don't know how they went from this prototype to the direction that the game ended up being, but I'm glad it went that way. Like, don't get me wrong, I like all of this. I like all the Pokemon, the areas look cool, but... And yeah, this is really early on as well, so you can't really judge it too hard, but... Yeah. It's just interesting to see what Gen 2 could have been, considering Gen 2 were meant to be the last Pokemon games, so... 
Um, Jump Fluff is in this area of the decks in the final, but Jump Fluff is also in the prototype deck, so that doesn't really mean much. Um, prototype, Sunflora, Apom is in this section in the decks, and Apom's also in this deck, so it doesn't matter, blah blah blah, I'm not trying to keep, keep repeating myself. Um, Fanfi, which is also known as Trumpet. <laughs> That's funny. Um, this is where Sunkern would have been, but Sunkern's not actually in this version. So, um, Dawn Fan is where Sunflora would have been, but Sunflora, you know, we just saw Sunflora. So, or yeah, right? Sunflora, yeah. <laughs> and then this freaking scary thing, the twins, which is a Giraffic pre-evo, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's so scary. So this is where Yanma would have been, but Yanma's not in this, so. And yeah, Giraffe Rig. I like totally, it didn't realize, it, it didn't occur to me at first that Giraffe Rig was back and front Giraffe, and then I realized that the tail in the final version. I guess it makes sense why they changed this. It's, 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 it's something. That's, that's scary. Whooper is where Giraffe Rig is in the decks in the final, by the way. Zane, think of the biddies. How is that the pre-evo? Because it's, look, look, you gotta look at the original design, look. Twin, it's literally called Twinzu or whatever in Japanese. And it's two things that are connected together that are twins. And then Giraffe is two things together that are connected that are twins, but you know, they changed it later on, so. Uh, Smeargle, nothing much there. Quagsire is at the spot in the decks in the final, but that doesn't really matter. Baby Meowth, I cry, I wish this is real. Meowzy, I wish this is real, I cry. This is where Espeon is, but, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter, because Espeon's in the prototype, too, so. You you really would have to line up the index numbers to see, I guess, technically what replaced what, because you can't really go off the dex numbers, because they reordered the decks anyway. You'd have to see what order they literally added the Pokemon in, or decided to order them in internally to figure out really what replaced what, but. I mean, if you just take the Pokemon that weren't in the prototype, and then compare it to the ones that got cut, then that'll probably give you a good idea, and I'm sure somebody will do that soon, but. I don't want to be that person. Um, Rin Ring? Rin Ring? Am I saying that right? I wish this was real. I cry. Bell Buoyant? I wish this was real. I cry. This is where Umbreon and Murkrow are in the final decks, by the way. Terrible Politoed. I'm sorry. <sighs> Slugging. Nothing new. Um, Slugging is where Mistrevious is in the decks, which is interesting because Mistrevious isn't in this. So, um, Unknown is where Unknown is supposed to be in the final. Letaba is green, and it's where Wobbuffet would be, which is not in this. Uh, Ledian is different, and where Giraffe Rig would be, but you know, they changed the dex order. Baby Ponyta, I cry. This is where, is it Pineco? Pineco? I call it Pineco. I don't know if that's right. This is where Pineco would be. It's not in this game. Honestly, I would take a Baby Ponyta over a stupid Pinecone. I said it. Fight me. I don't care. Espeon Fortress is is in this deck spot in the final, which doesn't really mean that much. Um, Umbreon is where Dunsparce is, and Dunsparce is not in this, so that's interesting. And then this is uh, where Gligar would have been. Gligar's not in this either, um, but this is like Slowbro's, Slow King, Slow King Shell, or Slow, yeah, Slow King Shell, right? That is so weird. That, that would have been really cool, to be honest. Um, <laughs> baby Ditto, or Baby Grimer, excuse me. Baby Grimer is where Steelix is, and Steelix is in this, so. Yeah, maybe, maybe, if I have the time, if I have the time, maybe I'll, like, make a post about all the different index numbers and try to figure out what replaced what, just based on the index numbers, just because you can't really tell, like, I mean, you won't really know unless maybe you ask Game Freak for sure, but you can kind of at least assume or guess based on the index number, like, you know, let's say Baby Grimer's at, you know, 001, and in the final game, you know, I don't know, Gligar's at 001. Like, clearly then, you could see Gligar probably replaced that slot. So, yeah, that's interesting. Um, and then, I'll go down. Remoraid is where Snubble would be. It doesn't really mean much, because Snubble's in the final game. Gramble is not in the game. This is where Gramble would have been. Um, this is Remoraid and Octillery, if you didn't know. Um, what the fuck is this? Early Tyroke. Yeah, I forgot about that. This is where Quillfish cool is in the decks. And then this is Hitmontop, right? Yeah, Hitmontop. Caesar is here, but Caesar is here in the final, but Caesar is also in this decks. And then next would be Shuckle in the real game, but we got Baby Growlithe, which I wish was real, and I want to cry. And yeah. And then Hopip is where Heracross would be. Heracross, um. 
There's like a weird looking hair cross thing in this. I don't know if it's actually hair cross though. Um, Sneasel would have been here. You guys know what these are. They're, they're just different versions of the hop line. Teddy Ursa is not in this. This is where Teddy Ursa would be. And then Ursa Ring in the decks. This is Mime Jr. A nightmare fueled version of Mime Jr. I cry. This is a nightmare fueled version of Smoochum. This is where Slugma would have been. But you know, Slugma's not in this. It's interesting now that I'm actually looking at the column of what Pokemon are and aren't in the game. I, I really do see, I guess, where they're going with it in terms of they, they cut a lot of pre-evos or... I don't want to say post-evos. I don't know what else to call them. Two existing Pokemon. It makes sense. You know, Macargo would have been there. Swinub. There, there's a Swinub looking thing in this. Um, that's Maggie. Blossom. Corsola is also not in this. I actually just realized. I'm glad this doesn't exist, by the way. This is like a Weeping Bell, whatever, evolution. I'm really, I'm really glad that does not exist. Miltank, obviously. See, where Miltank is is where Remoraid would have been. Like, you really, that's why I'm saying you gotta take the index number. So don't, don't take what I'm saying like, oh, this Pokemon replaced this Pokemon. I'm kind of just talking out loud in terms of going through the decks. Yeah, I agree, Chrono. I agree. It is a flaming seal. It is a flaming seal. Remember the actual gun. What's up, Nick? There is on cutting room floor. Is there a page showing you to do the walkthrough walls and play in color? Cutting room floor. Bomb seal. The bomb seal is cool, I think. You know, I mean, actually, though, now that I think about it, I'm sure once they get everything up on, like, the wiki thing, they'll probably have all the index numbers. I'm sure there'll be a page comparing, like, you know. Th there's one like that in, uh, like, on Bulbapedia. In Gem 1, you can compare, like, the index numbers of some of the Missinos to, like, Gen 2 Pokemon. That may or may not have potentially been in Gem 1. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm sure there'll be, like, something, something like that eventually. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it myself or if I have the time to do it myself. So, um, so let's see. Delibird is... Delibird is where Delibird's supposed to be in the deck. So they didn't move Delibird, so that's interesting. Um... The Tiger Evolutions is where Skarmory and Houndour, 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 however you say it, would have been. Or no, sorry, excuse me. Mantine and Skarmory, but Mantine and Skarmory are, di are in different places in this deck. Um, Farfetch Evolution, that's where Houndour would have been, but Houndour is somewhere else in this. Houndoom, this is the creepy voodoo, voodoo doll thing. So it seems like a lot of Pokemon got shifted around, and they ended up replacing just some of these designs that we've, you know, never seen until today, so... I'm, I'm still shook that we're seeing this. This is uh, Blissey, by the way. Early Blissey, excuse me. Also, Caesar on some 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 roids. <laughs> what is this? I don't understand. The voodoo thing is cool. The voodoo thing is cool. Um, yeah, this is scary. I think this is where Stantler would have been, but Stantler's not in this. Evolves from Pinsir at level 42. It doesn't even have like a face. I don't understand. Okay, we, we know this. Um, Smeargle and Tyrogre are in this part of the decks in the final, but, you know, like I said, it doesn't really mean anything, because, you know, it's it would be based on index number to see what replaced what. Because they're both in the final game and in this, so, yeah. Um, this is supposed to be an early Snover or Swinub evolution line. So there's that. There's Porygon 2. I don't know why they made it a mascot from some donut chain or something. Lickalicky before Lickalicky was a thing. I like final Licka Licky though. I don't like the mustache on that. That's scary. Uh, Steelix, and blah, 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 blah. Kingdra, which is very different. Raikou. Entei. Suicune. Those are like such gem one designs. Like, not even like what, like, the, like, the, the features of them, but just how, like, the coloring looks. I, I don't know how to describe it. Like, Gen 2, the Gen 2 sprites are so much more vibrant. And I feel like the Gem 1 ones are a lot more, like... I mean, obviously, there were technological, like, limitations. So they can only have them be one color and stuff. And, like, they look very, like, watercolor-y. Kind of, you know, like the early Gem 1 art. So. There's your legendary dogs, my friends. Wait, what was this one again? Wait, what was this? Was this supposed to be early Sneasel, I think? Yeah, it's literally called Sneasel. Or at least the English name is Sneasel. But I think this is cute. I wish they would add it to something else. Like, I like the Sneasel we got. That holo sprite looks epic, by the way. Dog P, and then we went through this like five minutes ago. But yeah, I mean, I guess it was fun going through it with like saying what was ended up being in the final decks. So like comparing it to the final decks is interesting because you can see how much they switched it around, the decks order. And 
Not that you can point out what specifically swapped out what or what got cut and what replaced it. Just with the dex number, you gotta look at like the index numbers and stuff. But I, I think it's really, really interesting personally. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I, I really like some of these designs, but I do think that they did cut a lot of evolutions. Um, but I would have loved to see some of the uh, like new Pokemon, you know? Apparently, yeah, it's like a Mr. Donut something. I don't know if that's supposed to be a meme. I'll read the description from the thing. Porygon 2 evolves from Porygon with upgrade. Design references Ponda Lion, mascot of the Mr. Donuts chain. I don't know if that's supposed to be a meme or something, but <laughs> from a furry website. <laughs> he has a mustache because he's a food critic. I don't know. I I agree that like I I I. I don't know how to describe it. Like, oh wait, what is this? That's cry. And then those buttons don't do anything. Besides the last one's exit. Um, I don't know, I, I think it's really interesting. I'm still glad they released Leafeon in the end. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, cause like they had all the core types except for grass, you know? You know, like fire, water, electric, grass. So I, I wonder, I just wanna know what made them. I'd really be curious to know the reasoning behind cutting Leafeon in Gen 2. I do think the Gen 2 design of Leafeon is a lot more inspired. I like that it looks more than a tree. Like, looks more like a tree and, like, grass and stuff. Um, but I also like the the Leafeon design that we got. Even though it's not super inspired, it's just Eevee with, like, leaves on it. It's a lot more elegant looking, I think. But, you know, the gen, you know, the art, the graphics of this don't do it any favors either. Yeah, some of them are scary. I think a majority of the new Pokemon were actually really cool. I think some of the like prototype versions of the Pokemon we know now are a little scary, but I would love to see these like revisited, but I know that's never gonna happen. They're probably just gonna stay in the dungeon, you know? But yeah, I feel that Minecraft. Yeah, the legendary dogs, I'd be curious to also not only compare the index numbers between the prototype and the final to see what replaced what specifically, but also to see who designed what Pokemon, because that plays a big part in it, because a lot of these are kind of like the Pokemon green sprites where they look completely terrible, or some of them look like the really, really good Gem 1 sprites, and, you know, there's not only one person doing it, right? Because I think, from what I remember reading, at least with Gem 1, they would design the Pokemon, like, right in the game, and then maybe, like, print it out or something, but we think they're scary because we've never seen them before. Yeah, but I think some of them are definitely scary compared to their final versions. Their final versions are definitely a lot more aesthetically pleasing. You know, Hitman Top is an example. And that's even if you just compare the Pokemon Green Sprites to like, red, blue, or yellow, you know? Oh, maybe not yellow, because that's a little bit different, but. I don't know, if I have the time, if I have the time, I'll look into some of this myself, but I'm sure over the next few days, if you guys follow Cutting Room Floor on Twitter, or any of the people that are working on this on Twitter, they'll, they'll be updated, so. Um, you know, I'm sure people will make comparisons about what got cut and speculation about all this stuff. Because now that we have all this information out there, this is like, I know this is the five, 500th time I'm saying this. Most parts were made in MS Paint. Uh, I don't think they used MS Paint for this. I'm pretty sure. I don't think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure they used development software for the Game Boy to make it, not MS Paint. <laughs> nice, Hayden. It's, I'm, I'm not saying MS Paint is a bad spriting tool. I'm saying they probably use actual development software <laughs> to make the Pokemon in the game versus MS Paint. You can't just like, you can't even make them transparent in MS Paint. Like, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure they use game development software, not MS Paint. <laughs> How would you even export that to a game? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I mean, that's how I started out making sprite stuff. I used MS Paint. I think using MS Paint is better than Photoshop, besides the transparency stuff, just because it's already, like, pixel-based. But I'm sure you can do that in Photoshop somehow. I don't know how, but... Wow, my voice is going out. That was a little extreme. I agree, Danny, but I don't think it'll happen. I mean, I don't know. Never say never, because, you know, some older Pokemon designs were saved for newer gens. I don't know, Minecraft, I really doubt that. Um, considering the time period, Gen 1 and Gen 2 were all developed in like the early 90s. So, I really doubt that, honestly. Yeah, I know Quasi, but I found it easier in paint. Plus, that's what I'm used to, with paint, with pixel stuff, or sprite stuff. 
I don't know. I I, I, I highly doubt they used MSP. <laughs> to be honest, I, I would assume they'd probably use uh, some sort of development software to put in the sprites. I mean, yeah, I, I really doubt that. <laughs> I don't know. Well, wait, yeah. They definitely use development software because there's Game Boy development software out there. My, I, I'm sorry, Minecraft, but I'm like pretty sure they use development software. There's Game Boy development stuff out there. Like, I no. Like, when was MS Paint even a thing? Um, let's see. I don't know. I think they use the development software, not MS Paint. But that's just me. What's up, Jam? What's up, Hill? Is that a Magnemite? That's pretty cool. What's up, Leviosa? Oh man, I, my voice is going out. Yo, Skip! Name of the sub. Home of the Pirate Squad. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you for joining the sub Discord and hanging out with everybody. And thanks so much for the sub. Let me know what Pokemon you want for the stream boss in the corner, by the way. Oh, how do I get out of this? Let me get out of here. There we go. I really wish, actually, maybe you can go through the lab. Oh, <gasps> we can! And it's very boring. <laughs> oh, Oak does talk to you, wow. Oh, it's Oak too, that's interesting. I wonder if this door goes anywhere. No. Oh my god! Look at the bottom right corner. What about the bottom right corner? There's nothing in the bottom. What? Oh, you mean the stream boss. Oh. Whoa! That's another new thing. And there's text for this. Wow. Well, at least, like, programmed for it. Wow, this is very different. Okay, let's see. Is this gonna work? Oh, I don't think it lets me pick. Dang it. Oh, that is so cool. I'm glad I went in there. Because I didn't bother going to the lab with walkthrough walls. Dang, that's cool. That is really, really cool. Wow, that's, that's nutty. That is nutty. I mean, the lab looks... I mean, Pokemon labs aren't really the pinnacle of design anyway, but uh, I guess this is your rival's house. That was my suspicion. Because, you know, I mean, there's no rival house in New Bark in the main game, or the final game, but based on that, I guess maybe the rival is from, like, here originally. Kind of like in Gem 1. It's also really weird there's a Pokemon Center here. But, um, anyway, my voice is going out, and I actually need to leave soon. But, um, I don't even get a pee. But I think I'm gonna end it there. I really wanna keep streaming this, but you gotta realize too, there's really not that much else to do in the game until more things are discovered and figured out and translated. What's up, film? Um, as much as I wanna keep going, I can't because my voice is dying. I gotta leave in like two hours or not, like an hour to go to ban. But this was super fun. I will probably highlight it on YouTube. I will probably highlight it on YouTube, at least part of it, and post it up there for people that missed it. But my, my, my voice is going out and I need my voice for tonight. What about the giveaway? What do you mean, what about the giveaway? The giveaway doesn't end until tonight at like 11.59. So the winner will be picked probably, I'll probably announce the winner of the giveaway tomorrow. So what version? Uh, gold. I, I mean, it says it right there. <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> They're, they're the only the only prototype version we have, I believe, is gold. Um, anyway, I'm gonna find somebody to host. Yeah, as, as much as I want to keep streaming this, like I said, there, there's really not that much else to it, at least to play, because it's, it's a prototype. We looked at all Pokemon. I mean, until we get more info about it getting translated and like the Pokemon like specifics and you know the town specifics and all the scripts and everything, blah blah blah, blah you know. We really won't know more until, you know, the people that are working on it, you know, get more information and work on it. 
This is the prototype version of Pokemon Gold that just came out today. This is, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna say this for, for the last time before I log off, but this is a very big deal. You know, you don't think it is. This is a very big deal for like video game preservation, like history, and like for Pokemon itself, because we never see any beta prototype stuff about Pokemon. It's very, like, it's it's under lock. It's under, it's, it's locked down a lot of the time. Mainly probably because legal stuff, but you know, it's really cool to see something like this, and it's really cool that we got the Space World demo, because that was sort of like a fabled thing, I guess, you know? But, um, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna host someone. Um, I'll see you guys later. And, uh, yeah. I gotta go pee really bad. <laughs> I, I might randomly do a nighttime stream tonight, but probably not. We'll be back to the normal schedule tomorrow, though. Um, I only had to do, uh, I had to do, um, daytime streams because I had banned, but normal schedule will be back starting tomorrow, so nighttime stuff but uh anyway i'm gonna host someone and yeah i'll see you guys later bye